Greetings and welcome to Flotsam. I'm Catherine of Sky and I am delighted to welcome a very special guest. We have Judah here from Pajama Llama Games. Uh, he's one of the developers on the game and uh, we're thrilled to have you here. Hello. So what what is it you do on the project? I'm very curious. Um, I was one of the three original founders of Pajama Llama. Um, I mainly started out as uh, one of the artists. We were two artists and one coder at the start. And right now, um, it's yeah, it's a bit of a how do you say a mix because we're uh, we're a small team, so we have to do many things at once. So yeah, mm -hmm. um, I guess you could call it business and art together or something like a weird combo. Oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. I I absolutely love the the art in the game. It is. Fabulous. And of course, the gameplay itself is really, really fun. And that's, of course, that's all the coding as well. So that's, I don't know, it's such a great game. And I've really enjoyed playing it this this past week. It's been absolutely fabulous. Um, I think people are asking in chat, um, <laughs> if Tell Cam becomes Cat Cam sometimes. Yeah, Cat already left. Um, so what we're going to do today is since some people have not seen the beginning of the game, we got quite far in yesterday's stream on YouTube and Steam. Um, but today, I think we'll start a new game. Um, and hopefully, Judah, you can talk us through. If if I'm doing anything wrong, you can tell me. <laughs> so, oh, wait, we want to go. Let's see. New game. There we go. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. I forgot to ask you before the stream. Is that correct? Oh, that's okay. Uh, many people say it differently. Um, normally, it's just uh, Yuda Ben, but uh, you can say Yuda or Judah or... Uh, okay, Yuda. Okay, I will I will endeavor to be correct because I like I like my name pronounced correctly. So um, I, uh, I'll i call you the proper name. Okay, so I, I think, yeah, we can turn off the, cow the towel cam since the cat is not actually there right now. Let's see. Uh, oops. I was in the wrong mode. There we go. Okay. And we'll go and start a new game. Well, that's it then. Garbage floods wiped away our village. Perhaps we should stop sticking on these useless rocks and go explore. Who needs land? These endless blue waves. That's all we need. The flooded world is our oyster. Let's polish this plastic into beautiful pearls. If only we weren't out of fuel. <laughs> what shall we call our new town? So we have so many lovely names. What what was your inspiration for the different names of the towns? Um, those were actually a surprise for me as well. Um, Stan, uh, who does the UI and most of the art, um, he uh, he did a full UI rework, like pretty close uh, near the end, uh, near uh, the release. Uh -huh. And um, he added this part, and uh, he added all the names himself. So it's uh, yeah. That was pretty nice to see. I still discover. Uh, I'm still discovering new ones myself. Yeah, that's, pretty nice. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Oh man, what shall we call it? Anchor Bay, Tribe Upon Scrap, Bin Town, <laughs> Barnacles Gate. That sounds fun. Let's go and start the adventure in Barnacles Gate. Is there a way to like change the name of the town? Is that a thing? Oh yeah, you can just click it and type it yourself. No, I mean like after you've already started the game. Uh, oh, we kind of looked that. for it um, yesterday hmm. and I couldn't find it. <laughs> uh, no, uh, there's not. <laughs> we have not added that yet. No. Okay, okay. Just I'm just asking because people will want to know. So I, I'm trying to. I'm asking the hard questions in this interview. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, let's see. First of all, we're starting out in this wide open world and there is one landmark here. These rocks that we are sort of escaping from. Apparently we forgot to take the stuff when we got there. So the first thing we need to do, we have three people uh, here. Uh, we have Sammy Flo do we? Oh, I think we always start with Sammy. <laughs> is that a thing? Calidorn. Oh. oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh no, that's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, you always you always start with Sammy. Um, he's actually a. Um, we, we were testing out um, choices at the start where you can choose like uh, drifters yourself or make them yourself, and Sammy uh -huh. was a, an experiment of that. And so he's always in there. Uh, the rest are all randomly generated, and we'll be uh, looking at at that in the future. But right now, it's only okay. Sammy. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I've noticed he's always here, and that's pretty cool. I want to say thank you so much, Calidor, and thank you for the Prime subscription. Thank you, T Price, for the subscription as well. Thank you both. That's so awesome. I'm gonna give you some some cat love and chat here. Woohoo! Extra long train. Um. So, all right. 
So that's really, I like that he has this torpedo skill. And I think we talked oh. about it yesterday that the torpedo makes him walk and swim faster, but it doesn't affect his boat speed. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So, so we're looking into adding like uh, captain quirks where they're faster in boats and oh. stuff like that. But oh, this right now it, it's uh -huh. a very basic implementation. So just a couple of ones like, oh, it's okay. fired faster or eats more, stuff like that. Yeah, like we a, just got Sponge over instant. here. Looks like he has hyper, needs less sleep. That sounds great. Uh, I, I've never seen that particular one. Let's see what Fishbait yeah. has. Fishbait, he's he's moist. That's what I, I saw for the first time yesterday. I don't know why it makes me smile, but man, it's funny. <laughs> hey, that's all me, all, awesome, Caledron. That's so cool. Okay, so, all right. Yeah, Caledron is saying Twitch Prime is finally available in Norway. Oh, so, oh that's so nice. Thank you. Um, so, let's see. First thing we need to do is gather resources. And I have to say, I really love your survival guide. Um, that's these, if you're looking on the screen, it's these little tiny things on the left here, the camera controls. These are different tutorials that the game is asking you to read. And it doesn't ask you to read the whole book at once, which is kind of nice. And it like marks them with these yellow things like this is important now. You don't have to read the whole thing before you get going, but it's really useful. I love that it's like brief. It just tells you very specifically and very directly what you need to do. Um, and it reminds me of like old time game manuals. It's so good. Um, and uh, later as we get on into the game, it'll show more of these little tutorial things up in the upper left there. So, um, all right. What we got here is we need to get people getting some materials because they're like, hey, what do we do <laughs> here? Uh, let's see. Um, KG6 asks, do, we plan to add, do, do you plan to add a scalable UI for those of us with low vision? Um, Stan's actually working on the UI right now to get it scalable for um, wider screens and, and larger screens as well as some font changes. So we're, we're looking at all of that right now. So oh, that's nice. um, give us some time. It might be for our next patch, might be for the one after that, but it's definitely on our radar. So yeah. Awesome. Uh, and someone's asking if multiplayer is planning on being added. No, multiplayer will not be added. That's, uh, I think you, you can see as in five years, if you still have to add that, it's uh, it's quite an endeavor. So I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's uh, multiplayer I've heard is really difficult to implement, though. I, I have to say, anytime I have one of these kind of games, it's like, oh, I wish I could play with my friends. <laughs> though it would be kind of interesting, like having people doing conflicting orders with different people and all that stuff. So anyway, what I've just done is I have added um, buoy markers for swimming um, and this allows our people to go and get materials from these different buoys. And you can see as I've um, added them here, it shows how much material you can get. And the little um, plastic bottle rings, the 122 there, th that's plastic, which is a basic resource. And then we have wet wood, uh, which 13 pieces are in this zone at the moment. And wet wood, of course, needs to be dried. <laughs> Uh, and we'll kind of get into that in a bit because yeah that's rough but what we did what, what we have is three people so we need to increase one of these markers to get more people and at the beginning we really need plastic so let's have two people going for plastic and then we'll have one person going for the wood right now hey colonel will how are you doing and welcome welcome everyone to the stream really excited to have you here we're really thrilled here this is great Okay, so here we are, we're gathering plastic, and plastic is one of our basic building blocks we're going to need for uh, building all the things. And um, as you can see, we have walkways. This is one of the most important things, which allows us to connect to different buildings that we're going to build around our town heart, uh, which is kind of, it's funny, it's like a little lighthouse, it's cool, uh, kind of glorious. Um, and then we have uh, storage yards, and we have houses. Um, we also have drying racks, which are, are going to become important very soon and woodworking sheds and then water stuff. This is a distiller because we can't drink seawater, of course. And um, we have our boats and that's what we're really looking forward to because we need to reach this landmark over here and that landmark um, has this sail. This is our goal to actually get out of this place because there are places we're going to go here. We need to sail to the next place, which is Lonely Island here. 
and um, yeah, we need a boat to get there. As it is, we can't even get this material out here because we can't swim there. It's out of our range, so we really need to have a boat getting there. Oh, we actually have fish in the range. How funny, but we can't fish by just like catching stuff <laughs> with our hands. So anyway, let's see. Um, somebody's asking, can we expect an updated roadmap in the future? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Um, the plan was actually to do that today. I, I, uh, I, uh, my, my schedule was to do that. But the problem is we've been getting so many good feedback and, and very good comments that we want to reprioritize what we're going to do. So that's going to mm -hmm. be probably for next week, maybe Monday or Tuesday. And then we'll have some, some nice updated roadmap. So, yeah. Well, that sounds great. Somebody's asking, will we be able to designate mooring points for the salvage boats and fishing boats so they don't go to each other's ports? Uh, I'd love that myself. Uh, so it's probably going to be added in one of the quality of life patches. Um, Ooh, yeah, that's tasty. Nice. Woohoo. Uh, somebody's asking uh, uh, for either randomized maps or sandbox mode. Um, sand, it's kind of a sandbox mode right now, except that the map is handcrafted. Um, we'll be looking at how this game mode goes before we're looking at any others. Um, so our, our focus will be just... Unless you mean like a, a fully um, removal of the survival aspect. In that case, it's going to be for um, uh, quite a while. So we'll, we're looking into balancing this one for... Uh, a good and nice experience so oh that's awesome yeah to be clear everyone this is an early access game so that um, there's many many features still to come and many things that are um, uh, kind of on the roadmap in the future do you want to would you like to talk about some of those things that you have uh, or the team is planning um, yeah sure um... As I said, like we're gonna re-prioritize, uh, but uh, things that we are um, definitely planning is uh, having more control over what drifters do and how you can handle them, um, mm -hmm. as well as uh, oh, like right now the the landmarks interaction are very basic. You can see them; it's a quest, and it's like one button, and you you interact yeah. with it, and that's about it. We're definitely gonna uh, look into expanding that way more, adding uh, stuff like goals as well, because right now the the goal is just to stay alive, which is, I mean, it's it's commendable, but um, using people <laughs> to work towards something. So uh, those things are all highest priority right now. So yeah. Mm. Well, that's really cool. I'm really excited for those changes, and uh, I know you've been your team has worked been working really really hard uh, at release and stuff to get all the bugs sorted and other things going on, and uh, and already we've seen some changes to the game, and it's 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 pretty cool. It's pretty nice. And I have to say, it's really fun to play, too. I've been playing this game just for everyone listening, uh, playing it for about a week now and just having a really, really fun time. There's a lot of uh, strategy involved in this game, so it's it's quite fun. Like right now, we can't overspend everything building little houses for people and stuff. We have a very limited amount of stuff in our circle uh, that we can get. So we can't, we have to be sure to, to have enough to get our boats made because that's going to be really important uh, here. So what I'm going to do um, is I am going to set this drying rack. We can either dry fish or wood and it can be changed on the fly. So what we're going to do is start drying wood because we have wood there and um, I'm going to build another drying rack as well. Get this going. And I don't want to overbuild, but we do need some dry wood so that we can build some boats and stuff as well. Can you befriend the whales? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> the whale is always your friend. Aww. Well, for now, maybe. For now, maybe? <laughs> he looks quite dangerous here. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh. I love the whale sounds as well. They're so good. <laughs> I'll leave you gently stroke them with tentacles. <laughs> Kalator. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Okay, so one of the things we need uh, for boats is we need to have some rope to build this mooring point. So you need a mooring point before you can build a boat and one boat per mooring point. Um, so we need to get that done, uh, but we need 
this building first. We need a woodworking shed. So, I don't know. Do people want to see a different uh, town design? Should I do it differently than before? Uh, what, do, what does chat think? Maybe you can uh, put a challenge on yourself or something. Put a challenge? Okay. <laughs> we can do that for sure. Ah, somebody's asking, uh, I see quite a lot of detail on the seafloor. Is it mostly decorative or will there be features related to it in the future? So we, we planned a bit ahead uh, on the seafloor. Like we, we made sure that it's it's uh, it's generated and that we can adjust it. Uh, it's still very, very basic right now, so we can't easily expand upon it. But uh, we want ourselves, uh, we want to add uh, sea exploration and stuff. Ooh. Unfortunately, there's there's like a lot more things on higher priority right now. So that's it's a maybe in the future. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find some of these underwater structures because it's oh here it is you can see it like beneath the sea there like those square buildings there. It's hard to see, but can you see it from further away a little bit better? I don't know where it's better, but you can see like these square structures down there like old buildings and stuff that are just drowned beneath the sea i think it's so cool that you added that detail it's really neat thanks those were actually the first tests for um, the landmarks that you see and uh they were prototypes and we just put them underwater and they worked so oh that's <laughs> so that's, cool uh, oh we have issues okay it looks like we need storage okay let me just do that then we need to build stuff. My goodness, we are running out of space. I think I'll cancel the wood uh, collection for now so we can build some other stuff here. Let's build one more drawing rack for wood. And then we'll build a storage spot because we've run out of space. Our town heart can only store uh, 100 units of material. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, if you want like uh, an overview of your buoys, you can uh, just click the red icon next to the swimming buoy. Uh, it doesn't look like a, a button, mm -hmm. but it is. So. Yeah, it's that's a really cool feature. I find that really neat. You know, one thing that I would love to see added to this is the ability to go, you know, add or subtract uh, people from this thing. Like have those the arrows like you have on the buoy here um, and put that in this UI and maybe even tell us how much wood and how much plastic is in here as well. Um, so that it's like a quick reference. So we don't actually have to go around or is that too lazy not going around? I don't know, <laughs> but it seems like it would be really helpful to have that information on the- oh, that's, uh... that's, a, that's a great <laughs> suggestion. I quickly wrote it down, so. Okay, cool. <laughs> you want Ark Skeletor from Anno? Yeah, that could be a thing. Hmm. <laughs> I think we already have an arc, though. We have the town heart. It's kind of like an arc. Hmm. Let's see. Um, someone is asking, will the guys have personal stories and relations like in RimWorld? Okay. Any more plastic. Got to get these walkways built. Um, that's a very in-depth system, uh, but we'll we're we're gonna how do you say that? We're gonna work to work towards it. Um, I'm unsure how far we're going to be able to get it because RimWorld really, really did a good job. So saying that it will be like that is, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure if we're able. I mean, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's really good. RimWorld's really good. Yeah, RimWorld is, is a lot of fun. And it's 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 kind of crazy the way people are, you know, they have, uh, you know, different relationships with people. But I think it would be harder in this game because there's like nowhere for people to go. Like if they get mad at the colony, they can't just leave. What are they going to swim away to somewhere else? <laughs> go, sit on, oh go sit on a landmark and start crying. Oh, yeah. Start crying. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Spirit, yes, um, uh, we, uh, we we were talking about that earlier. An updated roadmap is coming soon. Okay, so we have... Oh, wow. Okay, so this, this was uh, not exactly what I wanted. I wanted only wet wood in here. Uh, okay, there we go. We'll, we'll get it sorted. Um, I'm going to build another walkway out this way, and we'll have our production on this side instead then. Since I'm, I need to build in different directions, even though I, I seem to have discovered a build that I really like already, <laughs> but it's fine. Okay, and now I'm going to build this woodworking shed, and this is going to allow us to make firewood and rope, two very important commodities to us. So, 
Uh, Fire Lily says, I think the seagull needs to be able to carry more, and is there a plan for farming animals? Um, the seagull, it needs a lot of fixes, to be honest, so we're going to look at it soon. Um, carrying more is probably not going to be one of them, but maybe like uh, adding the amount of seagulls you have, if they work well, it's going to be a, a different solution that more seagulls are actually doing the work, so mm -hmm. get the work done uh, in, a, in a faster way. Oh, that sounds um, great. I like the idea of the seagull, but I feel like, you know, with the way seagull eats and the way, um, I don't know, maybe it could be free instead of eating because it doesn't actually carry that much, but it's so cute to have around. Okay. Yeah, um, the seagull is like the mascot of the game, so we're really, really wanted in, in the game for the release, mm -hmm. even though it's not, it's not done yet. But uh, uh -huh. we're glad it's in. We just, we just need to fix it. Okay. You know what? I think we can go for the seagull in this run because it is so adorable. Um, let's see. We have. What was the inspiration for the game? Someone is asking. Can we have wood um, and stuff? That depends. Like the, the the inspiration for the concept or the inspiration for the art, because. Waterworld is an obvious inspiration for when we started um, brainstorming about the game. Uh, but like game design and, and art uh, have all different kinds of inspirations. That's cool. Yeah, a lot of people have been making the comparison that it's like Waterworld, you know, the movie with Kevin Costner. So um, I, I found that myself. It's like, huh, this is kind of like that. <laughs> it's so fun. Okay, uh, can we expect to see hostile creatures added to the game, or will the game stay more peaceful and relaxed? Um, you can actually expect to see hostile creatures, but that doesn't mean the game will be less relaxed. We're, we're definitely going to keep the aura that we have right now. Um, it, it's going to be more in, in, in team of... I, I actually, we have some concepts out, I think, of like um, sharks that are covered in oil and stuff like really, Ooh. really uh, nasty. But, um, I like that idea. We should save the sharks and just free them from the oil. We can clean them up and gather that oil to, to use to go to different islands, right? That's exactly what you mean, right? Because <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> sharks are actually good creatures. They're, they're kind of, they're useful for the ecosystems, but um, yeah. Is anyway. there a way I can link things in Twitch or am I not allowed? Um, I do don't know i can let me see if i can add you real quick uh can you type something in chat real quick so i can have easy access to your username to say hi or something welcome everybody uh to the stream by the way really appreciate you being here okay let's see if i can click on you and then can i make you a moderator real quick oh thank please Okay, I'll try to do it in a different area. Okay, add new. Uh, aha, I found it. Okay, so right. I've just made you a moderator and um, that means you can ban people, but we probably don't want to do too much of that. <laughs> so feel free to link stuff. <laughs> Okay. Ah, power. Awesome. Woohoo! You have the power now. Yay. Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh, those look scary. Holy fuzzy cats. Holy flying flaming fish. Oh, those are awesome. <laughs> those are great. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, that's awesome, John. I'm so glad you got the, the stream fixed. Okay, so before I get carried away with stuff, as I typically do, we probably need to build more things. So we have just built our woodworking shed. Um, we need to build some rope. Let's just check. We need one rope for each of the mooring points. So let's queue two pieces of rope. So we have two products, as you can see. Um, we can either do firewood or rope. So we're going to do two pieces of rope. And then afterwards, we're going to need a mountain of firewood. So let's just auto queue that. And that will be made after this. And I need to make a storage, I think, for firewood as well. So let's just do that. Put that off to the side here like this. And then... Oh, and Caladorn asks, I forgot. Are you planning on adding any pirates? Yar. 
Nope. <laughs> no, <laughs> no pirates. No, no pirates. Nope. Oh my goodness. We're um, all uh, living in a feel-good apocalypse. So every every human should be like, oh, I should be, I mean, is happy and, and living. A feel-good apocalypse. I have never heard of a feel-good. I like it though. I I'm not a fan of the whole zombie thing. So feel-good apocalypse sounds great. <laughs> Oh man, that is so good. I like this. I like that very, very much, actually. <laughs> Sounds like my time at Porsche. Hmm, interesting. Let's see. Um, some uh, Fire Lily asks, will you be adding special events? For example, the whale gets enraged and attacks at one build and destroys it for another, or a massive fish migration. Uh, Something like that. Okay. Do you, do you have like special events planned? Is that a thing? Special events? Uh, I would need some some bit more definition, but uh, we are like like a whale. Event. A whale would attack part of your build, or like a fish migration, and like fish start leaping on the deck, so you don't have to go and catch them and stuff like that. Um, I'm unsure about those events, but we're looking at events. <laughs> I, I can't um, guarantee any of those, but uh, we're definitely... Uh, okay, that sounds cool. Okay, let me move this boy marker. We're going to move it over here. Oh, wow, there's some plastic there as well. Nice. What are the benefits are of making houses? They, uh, I think it allows people to rest faster. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And with the bigger houses, I know they can, they can hold like two people, but does it make them rest even faster than that? Is it worth getting them in the research tree? Um, so. I mean, maybe not as a first thing, but yeah. Well <laughs> Okay, they look really cool uh, in the in the art here, and I, I haven't tried them out yet. I'm really curious to see what they look like. Um, okay, is it planned to use the air or water current pushing things, or can be used with sails for movement? Uh, Maximus Primus, are you asking about within this area, or are you asking about on the map? Because in the map, we can already move to the other other areas. Um, previous, um, previous builds and in the alpha we had, um, Flotsam was actually moving on a map, so uh, it came by your town and you had to be quickly to grab it up. Um, it didn't fully fit the, the, the team of uh, the game right now, uh, mm -hmm. as a start, because the start was super hard and could be very, uh, very random. Mm -hmm. Uh, but in the future, I mean, the systems are still there, we can just, um, well, everything is actually physics-based in the water. Uh, so the systems are definitely there and we're... Excited to actually start introducing them again, but we really want to do it in a in a um, enjoyable way and not one that can really you know, screw your your whole run over. <laughs> that would not be fun. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, thank you so very much for Dare Sebi for the Prime subscription. That's much much appreciated. Um, let's see. We have how do you earn research points? Uh, you find them on the landmarks, actually. Oh, I should probably build something before I run out of materials. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Um, let's see, who else is... Uh, the one? Yes, you can go, uh, a after you finish the map, the entire map, you can go back around. That's how the game is working right now, so you can actually pick up all the text, I believe. Is that right? That's correct, yeah. That's cool. uh, we're looking at adding uh, a couple of uh, handcraft maps or, or a similar system to, to make it less that it's one map to finish in a couple of hours. So. Mm -hmm. Um, the eventual goal is obviously to do random generation, uh, but we really, really want to craft a very good map first before we can base the random generation upon that map. So yeah, that's why it's not That makes yet. sense. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So I'm building two mooring points. We can build a, uh, a scavenging boat or salvage boat, and then we have a fishing boat. Okay. Will there be any other alternate food sources other than fish or perhaps other forms of seafood like crab and shrimp? Yes, 
we, we, we actually had muscles uh, a while ago. Uh, we currently put them out for the game um, as they they were gained from uh, like ships that moved around. Uh, as those are currently uh, not in the game, the muscles are, are not either. But uh, yeah, I mean, we're Belgian, so we really want to add those uh, wolf feet to the game. So <laughs> Cool, can that sounds more. great. Yeah. Tasty nice. Okay, I think we need more wood. Let me go and have these people grab wood real quick. Turn off plastic here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off plastic here. Just so grab all this wood for now because we need boats. Okay. Ah, uh, most important question. Will we be able to use the crane in the town heart to deep sea fishing for metal? Aha. That's a good question, actually. The crane of the town heart. Um, you used to plan something with it, but right now it's 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 not going to be used. For uh, uh, right now, it's it's actually the only use you have is clicking it and then it moves. So it has physics if you want to. Oh, play it around. does move! Okay. Oh, that's cute. It like dangles in the air. That's so cool. Wow. <laughs> nice. Um, Wilson is asking: Will there be trading ships to get supplies from? Uh, we really want to add trading, but um, it's it's more of a nice to have at the end. Uh, right now, we really want to polish up uh, what's what's missing in the game, and add more content and stuff like that. Uh, I feel trading is a really really cool mechanic, but it's not gonna add something to the game right now. So maybe in the future, when uh, when the game's further, maybe not. We'll see. Cool. Uh, I think that would be a fun thing to like see, like encounter random boats on the ocean, like other people, make friends with them, maybe get colonists from them, or, um, you know, maybe we would lose colonists to them. Like, oh geez, you know, this boat looks better than this, you know, pile of trash we're living on. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going over that colony. That could be kind of interesting to kind of like have movement of people, movement of uh, goods and stuff like that too. Yeah, we actually have some concepts for uh, traders already, and um, mm -hmm. the, the recent concepts are actually like uh, old shops on landmarks that you know from the old world that are repurposed as trading Ooh. outposts. Uh, hey, but, that sounds cool. Again, you know the concepts are there, but um, it's it's very very low priority, so it might not even get in the game. I can share the concepts, I guess, though. But, yeah. yeah, please do. That sounds really interesting. We'd love to hear it because I know a lot of people come to the stream and they're um, maybe they're uh, learning coding, maybe they're starting a career in game design, or maybe they're just interested. And so a lot of people are really curious about you know what goes into a game and the concepts that make it or don't make it, and it's just really fun to share ideas. So please, please, anytime you have stories. To share we'd love to hear them let me quickly uh find it and grab <laughs> okay Ow. thank you death droid much much appreciated thank you so much for the subscription oh that's so cool mage muffin so mage muffin says um uh, i'm really curious on the 3d pipeline workflow as a 3d dude myself All right. Okay, so we're getting wood. I'm having some issues drying the wood, and I think we're... No, we're not at capacity for storage right now, but our peeps are going to hopefully grab some more stuff because we do need some wood for these boats here. So that's... What, wow, I didn't know you needed six wood for a fishing boat. Gee. Okay, must be the fintail in the back. Uh, let's see. And welcome everyone to the stream. Hey, Zanzi. I know you've said hi several times. I can't say hi to everyone. I'm sorry because, you know, I want to prioritize talking uh, with Yuda about the game. But I really, I'm so glad everyone is here and uh, we're really thrilled with all your questions and all the chat and everything as well. Um, uh, Daddy Poe is asking, will there be priority tasking added? Like if I'm low on food or water, the dudes will focus on that before salvaging. Uh, our first priority is adding more control and priority tasking or stuff like that. Uh, we're we're going to look at the designs uh, well next week and we're going to start uh, planning ahead on how we can give players more control, how we can let uh, the drifters be smarter and not dying and stuff like that. So uh, yes, the answer is yes. 
Let's see. Uh, Mage Muffin says, Sand could also be a fun resource. Add a deep diver building, dive for soil, make a floating farm, which also adds a new food resource. Um, <laughs> yeah, like dirt uh, dirt as a currency in the water world. Yes, it's nice I remember nice. that. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Um, also, I wanted to just say to everyone, if you have ideas, the developers are very open to these uh, ideas. Add them on the Steam forums or on the, um, the Discord for Flotsam. And uh, can one of my moderators get a link for that Discord and post it in chat, please? I seem to have forgotten to do that. Um, let's see. What are some exciting new buildings players can build that we can look forward to? Um, good question. Uh, we're looking at um, uh, uh, many more different things in the buildings right now, uh, so it's uh, hard to answer. I guess first thing on our list would maybe be something with animals, but that's really unsure, so Ooh, I'm afraid animals. I have no idea just yet. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, you've added some things. Oh, thank you, Pajama Stan. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Um... Wilson is asking, are we, will we be able to upgrade the boats to haul more items? We'll probably look at um, not upgrading boats, but adding bigger boats, cooler boats. Uh, we have some already, but it's, <gasps> you do. it's, it's very hard to, to make, um, to let the AI decide which boat to use as the player uh, might want to use good boats for larger patches and then they take it for like a, a small patch of where there's only tree stuff in there and stuff like that. So currently we didn't uh, <laughs> design that yet. So we haven't enabled them in the main game yet, but they are there, but yeah. Oh, that sounds really cool. Wow. Oh, and speaking of, we have our boat. First boat is finished right now. It's called the Rusty Dory and um... <laughs> Indeed, Kelador and I am enjoying the boat names. They're great. And so now we're going to go to our landmark here, Sailboat on the Rocks. We're going to salvage this stuff. So I'm going to click the salvage button. That's going to tell our people to jump into the boat. Okay, here we go. Who's the captain of this Yo. boat here? Yo. This is Fishbait. <laughs> Coral Fishbait Bobbington is his name. <laughs> Wait, while he's doing that, I'm going to start water production getting going. So we're going to turn this on. I'm going to say fresh water and then endless fresh water, turning it on. Turn this one back on as well. Uh, wait, not yet. I want to build this boat first, the fishing boat, and then they can use the rest of that wood to make firewood. Okay, let's follow this, this person. Hello. There we go. We got the follow on. I love the way they interact with the, uh, the rocks and the landmarks. It's so awesome. Thanks. Yeah, that was uh, actually a very joyful thing to s as well, because after four and a half years of development, we finally added that, and that was it was a great moment. Um, oh, that's it was, great. It was nice to see. So how long has the game been in development? A uh, full five years, actually. Uh, way too wow. Long. Way too that's a long time. That's awesome. Hey, Malarian! Yes, there are so many nice little details. I love everything about this game it's so nice okay so he's going and getting this stuff and stuff actually gets removed from the island as he's picking it up i think that's a really nice thing um yeah as you could see we, we got the mast from over here and i don't know what else we've grabbed here we've got rope and he's apparently hopefully going to get some uh, metal parts afterward okay so he's chucking that all in his little boat here oops oh a little bit of a lag lag spike there. Whoops. Okay, back. If, uh, if you want, you can uh, rename the boat as well. If you uh, <laughs> have, a, have an interesting. <laughs> yes, I have an interesting. Oh, oh, wow. We we're just really disassembling this entire boat over here. Nice. <laughs> I know what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> uh... Oh no, there's not enough space. No. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay. Uh Krakendorn. No, it's supposed to be the cranky Krakendorn. Let's see if I can take the space out and see if it makes anybody in chat laugh. <laughs> the tentacle maiden, oh dear. <laughs> 
Oh boy. That'll be the one for the fishing boat. <laughs> oh, it's a fishing boat, okay. <laughs> I suppose so. Oh, that's so nice. I love the way... So are they talking in a particular language? Um, or, or is it kind of like random um, words that they're saying? Uh, yeah, it's um, a very, very deep, is that the right word? A dialect of Flemish. So um, I hardly understand it myself when I speak the language. So, uh, oh, wow. Yeah. So it is actually authentic and real words. That is so cool. I like that. That's really neat. Okay, so deep dialect or, or maybe obscure dialect in Flemish. Okay, nice. Obscure. I, or, I mean, it's, it's, or thick it's, dialect. It's I don't know how... There's, there's many words, I guess, that could describe it. Yeah, thick, thick was a good description, yeah. <laughs> thick. <laughs> okay, Spirit asks, as a game design student, I'm curious what engine Flotsam is being developed on. Uh, it's uh, being developed on, uh, in, sorry, Unity. Uh, Unity, okay. Um, okay, and Hex asks, is the core system going forward to build a new building or upgrading existing buildings? Uh, will be Will that be the future system? Um, it's hard to answer that question, but probably more buildings. Okay. Yeah, I've noticed in the research tree that when I think I got in, in yesterday's playthrough, I decided to skip the fish kebab and instead get the food truck. And I noticed that the food truck makes the cooked fish. So basically, I would never need the fish kebab uh, building because that one already kind of like uh supplants it or it makes the same products yeah so, sorry that's an oversight on my part actually but um oh okay looking at, at, at fixing that i'm sorry okay so <laughs> but, are they uh, so so would like the food truck make different products in that case or yes, yes. like cooked mussels but we removed that one so ah, um, yeah. okay you know i remember that i remember that from pre-release there were mussels and i'm like oh where are the mussels let's find those <laughs> Okay. Okay. So that, so it'll have different products, but like, for example, the water, uh, the desalinator, somebody said, Oh, buy one of those and you'll never go back to the, um, the current machines again, the, uh, distillers. So is it, is that the way like you're looking for replacement buildings, like just to build better versions of them kind of thing? Uh, right now. Yes. Okay. Oh, thank you, Captain Jensen. Are you are you reading chat as well? Me? Uh, I am trying to occasionally. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I I'll answer, just say should that. Should I answer a question? Then? Yeah. Feel f no. I was just gonna uh, pass a message from Captain Jensen. Congrats on the release. Been following the development almost every day since I saw it at PAX. Love the art. Oh, thank oh, you so, so much. Nice. Yeah, and Saivion says, "Hey, Yuda. Hope you're doing all right. Been a long time since uni." Okay, I don't, is that, do you know that person? Or is that just like a random mm -hmm. Twitch sort of, <laughs> sort of a copy pasta thing? <laughs> oh my goodness. No, yeah, I, that's, I, go ahead. I know, I, I know the guy. Oh, you know them, okay, that's great. <laughs> Look, that's cool. So yeah, and Mage Muffin has a good point. Yes, this game literally came into early access yesterday. So um, yeah, there's, this is like, kind of like release day stuff, so. Um, we're, uh, d don't expect any major changes like tomorrow because it just came out. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Sivion. That's great. Okay, so we have some materials now. Now, we don't actually have to swim for resources. We can take off all of the swimming buoys. Uh, let's go here. I love this. It can like zoom to each one, remove the marker. And instead, we are going to get, we're low on water. Uh, so we definitely need to get some more. Well, we have a lot of wood, actually. We're pretty good on that. We're chopping, chopping. So I think plastic is our next priority. Let's send out the boat to get this plastic instead. Because uh, a boat can carry 10 units um, instead of uh, five. I mean, in, yeah, five. People carry five when they swim. Oh, awesome extra hero. Yeah, the game came out yesterday. It is out on Steam and almost everywhere else as well. And it's on sale on Steam um, and a few other places too. It is not on sale on Humble, so <laughs> that's why I didn't put my link for that. But I'd rather you guys get a better deal uh, than uh, than spending extra money at the moment. 
Wow, the first, Wait, uh, the first to be wise. It's not on sale on Humble. No, I don't think so. It's I don't last. We looked yesterday and it wasn't on sale on Humble, which was really interesting. Normally, it does have a, a release sale, doesn't it? Let me look at that. Sorry. <laughs> see, flotsam. Yeah, it's not on sale there. At least not not in my not in the US. Um, first to BYC. Thank you so very much for the Prime subscription. Much much appreciated. Really, uh, thank you. Let me just add a cat train for you. Yay! There we go. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> it's such a weird thing. <laughs> okay, did they go out? Oh yeah, so the boat went out and got. Oh, they still haven't unloaded this metal scrap. Guys, what are you doing in town? Hmm? You have space. I think it's because we have not designated a hauler just yet. Um, so what we want to do is since oh. Sammy has this torpedo skill, he moves faster. I want him to be a dedicated hauler here. Um, I don't like to adjust priorities until we get like five people on uh, in our colony because there's just so much to do for everyone. So it's a good thing to kind of like get those things uh, going. So let's see. Hopefully they're gonna, somebody's going to take the boat out maybe to get this plastic. Come on, guys. Somebody go. But for now, we also should adjust our producer output, like how much we want people to make. Um, and so we'll do the water. I think we'll do... We can only hold 60 water. So I think we'll do 40. That seems like it would be enough. Okay, there we're getting plastic. Yay. I'll just slow this down a bit. It's so cool to watch the boats come in. Oh, look at this. So good. And you can see it has 10, 10 plastic. Really much faster than swimming. Oh, that's awesome for us to BYC. That's great. Um, will there be random survivors showing up or can you only find more people at landmarks? Are you asking Wilson if there's like going to be um, like people in boats coming over or... Um, if it's the boat thing, uh, we're mainly focusing on actually expanding the the getting drifters from islands. Uh, we want it to be a bit more personal and maybe the people are happily living on those islands and they don't want to join, so stuff like that. <laughs> um, but again, that's for the future and if it then... It looks like it maybe could be cool if people are like uh, actually stranded in the middle of the ocean that you need to rescue. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll look at it then, but that's really, I mean, it's its its so far off that I have no idea that <laughs> it, it will ever get in the game. So. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard. I think a lot of people are just so excited about the game and they have ideas and they want to like see all of their kind of like dream things come in. But fear not, everyone. Um, uh, Yuda is writing down a lot of the suggestions and uh, it may come to the game in the future, so uh, just keep and and also write on the Steam forums and on um, and or on Discord because the devs are really interested in in your suggestions. So uh, yeah, feel free if you have like ideas after the stream and stuff like that. Let's see. Uh, oh, thank you very much, Salem. Uh, Salem has just posted the uh, links for both the Discord and for the Steam discussions there, so you can uh, add stuff wherever you please. Okay, so what we're doing at the moment, we need wood. Why are people not getting wood? Probably because I don't have a buoy for wood marked. Yeah, that would probably be it. So now, with the boat, we can go anywhere up to the edge of this. Um, this is kind of our limit here this uh, fuzzy stuff out here um, kind of like fog of war oh this is a nice spot so you can I, f I don't know if I mentioned you can increase or decrease the size of the the catchment area of the zone there so we'll just get this wood and hopefully oopsies whoa 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 turned too fast and I think we'll turn off actually we need the plastic as well well hopefully they, they'll just take the boats out and get stuff Luzma, thank you so very much for the subscription. Much, much appreciated. Thank you. <laughs> That's a good question, Jay Vetter. If the floating city gets close enough to some wreckage, will the villagers be able to pick the stuff up from the walkway? That would be technically possible, but then <laughs> again, we don't want people to be able to build next to the island, so we make sure that it doesn't 
spawn in the building radius. <laughs> I don't know if they're talking about the islands or like just the materials. That's one of the first things I did when on my very, very first game, I built a huge walkway out to like a pile of floating scrap so that they could, they wouldn't have to swim so far. <laughs> I ran out of materials. I had to start again. <laughs> Oh my goodness. On, on the question of the pathfinding uh, Malarion, um, actually they, they're, they're supposed to take the quickest path, but right now there's something. The developer that's working on the pathfinding wants to fix it, but that'll be for a bit later. Okay. Um, somebody asked a question which I kind of miss. Oh, are there going to be missions added? Missions? Like quests? Um, or, well, I mean, maybe, but I, not, not in a mission sense of way. Um, so to actually answer the question, probably not. I don't know what, I, like a mission is not, not in there. Okay. Let's see, I'm wondering if I should turn off this one and just have them go. I think I should have them go and get this wood out here. So I'm going to put it on fast forward a bit. It looks like our water is going up, so that's good. But we need to start catching some fish. So I'm going to have them get some more wood so we can build stuff. And then we're going to go catch some fish. I love the fishing boat that it has like the fish tail on the end of it. It's so good. And the funny thing about the fishing boat is they actually go and catch the fish. I love how they build, there's a mast on this boat, but it basically just has a, a flag, not a sail. <laughs> they have to row all the way out there. Well, not row, they paddle actually. So there he is fishing for stuff. There we go. <laughs> the animations are so good. Let's see. Okay, this lady loves gaming, says, wish there were dolphins in the water too. And Ashara Ra says, uh, inventory management, please being able to name each storage unit and manage them from a central window, like the fish barrel uh, inventory currently in the game. Suggestion from the community of streamers I've been watching. Okay. So yeah, um, priority management, task management, uh, and even buoy management, it's all the stuff we, we really wanna bring control to the players. Uh, but at the same time, make sure that people that don't actually need it. So uh, we're looking into it and we're looking into uh, many ways of doing it. Uh, the naming of storage is actually a nice suggestion. So um, that, that would be nice. And I think you probably, I, I might have meowed enough about it. The whole, please don't auto add new materials to every storage <laughs> for the filters. No. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. you don't have to apologize. I just want to make sure it's on the list. Yeah, so that's one of the things. I, I'm just going to explain what I'm talking about to everyone here is. So I have, I usually like to set filters for stuff. And if you remember in the very beginning, I wanted it to accept uh, wet fish or nibble fish and wet wood. Um, but as we've gathered more materials, all of these things have auto added to the filters. So I want to turn them off. And so that's what I was just asking about if those things can be kind of like disabled from being added. Um, so be, so it wouldn't be so like time consuming to, to reset all of them. Yeah, that, that makes a little sense. The reason that we originally did not do that is because we want people to um, be able to use storages out of the box and not have mm -hmm. to set priorities from, from the get go. Mm -hmm. um and uh whenever you discover new items they only appear in the filters uh, okay. however i think we can get a design working that uh, works for both where you can just place a storage and then as soon as you use the filters uh, it will only uh, update if you want it or something like that oh that's uh, a great we... idea yeah that's neat so it only appears if you're like actively using filters that's pretty neat and i love i have to say i really love the sort of visuals on how gigantic stuff is. I think I was teasing uh, on, in yesterday's stream about like the canned food, these gigantic cans of food and people eat a whole gigantic can every time they eat a meal, which is like bigger than they are. But it's very visually, um, 
I don't know, accessible, even like from far away zoom level, like you can see that this fish storage is half full or mostly full. Um, and same thing with the wood that, you know, the wet wood is definitely brown and the white wood is a, you know, bright white. Um, so it's really, um, it's a nice visual indicator to the player that stuff is happening, stuff needs to be attended to, um, or stuff is getting full. I really love that. Thank oh, you. I, I actually had a lot of fun with the, the resource visuals as they, they all had to fit in one uh, cube, uh, one, one size fits all for everything. Mm -hmm. it's, it's quite weird to have a fish be the same size as a wooden log, but uh, eventually it, it, it worked out. The only uh, problem is that we designed the town heart before we added that system, and now everything mm -hmm. in the storage of the town heart can only be seen if you like have a nice angle towards it, but it's in there, never, nevertheless. <laughs> oh, like underneath it? Oh wow, I've never I don't think I've ever looked on this side of the town hard. That's pretty cool. That's really neat. I like that. Yeah, at the moment I can see just like some plastic at the bottom. Oh, that's oh it in the middle. Wow. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's neat. I like that. That's really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna get so now somebody's told me that it is now on sale on Humble Bundle. So I'm gonna give, go ahead and give you guys my link. Uh, if you want to support me and buy the game at the same time, I'm going to put that in chat at the moment. There it is. Um, yeah, and you also support charity as as well, and it doesn't cost anything extra. And you get a Steam key for that. So that is pretty cool. Let me just add that to my thing. Now, you, we were talking about the design concepts earlier. Uh, would you like to talk about those? Did you um, find those? Do you remember? <laughs> design concepts I'm yeah sorry, for i think for some buildings that were going to be added or was oh, it the, that the shop of the the landmarks yeah i, or... I linked them oh you linked them okay i'm that. sorry i'm sorry i thought there was like um i'll, uh, I'll link them again oh thought there was a Brown. grand story that went along with it <laughs> okay let's see let's do one tiny thing here I, I can actually keep linking stuff. I mean, we have so many concepts. Like even oh, for wow, the, that would be great. The, the resource visuals, which is not a concept, but I can link some some fun up close shots. Let me grab. Let me grab. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm just creating a new Nightbot command for everyone, so we can use this. Okay, and I'll add it to the title. Boom. And update. Hey, okay, great. So then let's see. Oh, wow. That is so awesome. Those buildings. I love to see like the hand drawn concept art. It's so much fun. I really love that. Oh, and you know what we forgot? We might have slightly forgotten to set up any um, buildings for drying fish. So what we want to do, I think I'll set up this one. Since these are almost done. Uh, and we'll start drying this fish because that, that amount of food is getting a bit low here. The shellfish gas station, actually, uh, we, we uh, uh, Stan uh, finalized that concept. I can actually, or maybe Stan oh, really? can push that. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Oh, and you get oil and fuel, engine parts, and metal. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I love the craziness of stuff, like stuff hanging off the side and the trees at weird angles. And it's just so much fun. Like... It's just, it's wacky, but it's also sort of like, you know, this could actually happen. <laughs> it's a bit scary that way. Okay, so fish are going, oh, oh, here we are, gathering fish to go and dry them. Yay! We do need more plastic. I need people to be doing stuff. They're just, they're just not, uh, not gathering everything fast enough. Okay, I think I'm going to set, I'm going to do a walkway. Can I put one there? I want I want it to be closer. Thing. Could put a small storage yard here though. Okay, I think we'll have fish here and then wood in the other one. Hey Loma Brian, welcome. Um Let me see if I can uh promote you. I'm going to promote you to a moderator for uh, for the stream and then we'll uh, so you can link stuff basically. Let 
Let me do that real quick here. Aw, you have the seagull as your picture. That's awesome. Okay, let me just add that. I'll save that. Okay, and so now you can link stuff if you like. All right, yeah, sometimes it seems like they snap um, in certain ways that maybe we want them to snap in different ways. Uh, someone is asking, do you guys use Substance Painter plus 3DS Max slash Maya? Um, no, we don't. Uh, we don't use any of those. We use Blender for 3D and we use uh, 3D codes and Photoshop for te texture. Nice. So this is wood. I'm going to make this one only for wood. Nice. Okay, so now we have a little bit of plastic. We need more plastic though. Let's see if we can send a boat out here to get some. We have enough wood for now. Wow, I'm actually saying we have enough wood. That's that's rarely the case here. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna have to check out those links later. Those are those look so great. Okay, there we go with the boats. Uh, Zangetsui, yes, the devs are in the chat and I have Yuda on uh, stream with me. He's the voice that you hear um, other than mine. And uh, yeah, ask any questions you like and, uh, and we, hopefully we can answer them. <laughs> Ashara Russ asks, may I ask why the seagulls need a bed when they can sleep anywhere on the roof, uh, oh, rooftops of your boat city? <laughs> Um, that that might be a bug. I, I'm not sure. Do they use a bed? I, I think they do. Hmm. I think I think it counts them as a person, doesn't it? Like for the housing capacity thing. <laughs> um. Well, you know, they they really like a bed too. You know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they want a llama like everybody else. Thank you so much, Lucas. Much appreciated. Um. Let's see. Uh, we have many many questions. Uh, Zangit is asking, do you like cheese? <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course. Okay. Okay. And we have questions. Lightnings, fires, day, night cycle. All the questions. All the time. <laughs> I think we, we said, you said yesterday that you would, were, you were adding a, a day, night cycle or that was on the, uh, on the list of stuff. Is that right? Um, yeah, well, we're looking at uh, a possible day-night cycle or any way to, to have like a cycle uh, running in the game uh, with a schedule and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not for soon, but it's not for uh, a late development either. So, um, okay. mid, mid, mid priority. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ashara Russ says uh, that they would make a nest for them, but no bed. How come you don't want a net? Oh, no bed for your seagulls. They want to be comfy and cozy next to a llama with pajamas. It's a thing. Yes, and, and Llama Brian points out they need an alarm clock and a llama plushie. Yes. <laughs> um, and Zangitas asks, how big is the team? Uh, currently, we are um, five people in the core team who work full time. Um, we're also helped occasionally by uh, interns and freelancers, uh, which is really nice. Like the water, for instance, mm -hmm. uh, the technical aspects of that has actually been made by a freelancer uh, of another indie studio. Um, so yeah, it's it's really um, getting help from all places, and uh, it's really helping us uh, move forward because we're a small team. Uh, yeah. Wow, that's great. That's it. It is a very small team, and uh, you've got you have done such a, a wonderful job on the game so far. It's so much fun to play. It's like I feel like I can just get in the game and chill and relax, and it's just I don't know. I love the music. You can kind of sort of drift off and uh, and just enjoy it. <laughs> Kaladorn, oh dear, what have you done now? <laughs> Okay, I have to read Kalidor's comment. Did you know there are hundreds of thousands of lonely krakens resting on the seabed? It's a free benefit if you worship the cult of the kraken that allows you to cuddle the local krakens in your area. Show your love to the local kraken today. 
I think he likes my Twitch Prime announcement. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> Zenget is asking, oh, interns like student interns? Yeah. That's pretty neat. Yeah, it allows them to get experience and, and work on a real project at the same time. I think that's awesome. Yeah, and considering such, we're such a small team, um, the interns actually have like a lot of uh, things they can do. They can really add like big systems to the game when it's in there. So it, it adds some... How do I explain this? I mean, it, it's 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 like if you work in a bigger studio, I guess you can you have to do smaller things. But um, mm -hmm. in a small studio, you just can't. You have to have some more responsibilities, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Oh no, ten penny. Uh, you should report that on the Discord. They said they found a bug where as soon as they assign a fishing area for about 10 seconds, all the fish disappear. So the village is basically dead. Oh no. That's oh. not a good bug. <laughs> no, that's you, not a good um... bug. Uh, so the best place to report that is either what the Steam forms and, and or the Discord. Is that right? Uh, I think Brian will answer that. That, me, that might be good. Okay. Oh, and Mage Muffin says they already reported that. It's on the fix list. Okay, so that's good. We already have news on that. That's excellent. And Llama Brian says, Survival Guide was actually fully implemented by one of the interns. Oh, that is so cool. That's great. Oh, we got our plastic. Yeah. Hey. I'm pretty, pretty fast, actually, too. Yeah, I love the survival guide. It really is good. If you missed the beginning of the stream, it's basically a a, a proper user manual, but it's really, it's not like the Civlopedia, I have to say. <laughs> it's civilization, which is like so wordy and so, yeah, this is direct, gives you the information you need. And it's very, you know, it has all the icons and stuff that you need to look for. It's really good. I like it a lot. I think the Civilpedia only uh, half answers all the questions you have, so... Indeed, indeed, there's no actual um, numbers and stuff that we all kind of, like, look forward to. <laughs> oh, Cro-Mag Cro -Mag says, would you need to call 1-800-Kraken for it? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, thank you so much, Kembring. Yes, I'm coming to Norway very soon, uh, at the end of October. I've already bought the plane ticket. Yay. Nice. Yeah, I'm trip. looking forward to it. Indeed, Rigos. I love the Civilopedia for the historical aspects, but for gameplay aspects, it leaves a little bit to be desired, I have to say. Yeah, I usually... Uh go to the internet if I want to find something in the, the Civilpedia. Mm -hmm. I think like, the only thing I use there is like um, the, the alliances and their bonuses, but that's about it. That's the only info they really straightforward. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to make a... Hmm, I think I'll go just eight on this. Okay, there we go. And... Hey, miss. You're coming to Norway and I'm not informed? How dare you? Well, I literally bought the plane ticket yesterday, miss. So, I'm, I'm telling you now. Hi. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so I think I'm going to make... I need to make more of these drying racks. We are doing pretty well on stuff. I think what we want to do is probably catch as much fish as we can, do as much stuff... The one thing that uh, you won't, you'll want to note about fish, everyone, when you're doing this whole drying fish business, is that the dried fish only provide a half a unit of nutritional value. So that's why I'm keeping that number fairly low in the production uh, uh, limitation thingy. I only want 40, so that'll give us like 20 food um, because it's actually better to store, you know, the uh, I think it's better to store the wet fish than dry fish in terms of food. So that's why we're keeping that low. But later we're going to be able to cook these fish and they will have one unit of food instead of half. So, oh, we need uh, wood. Looks like it too. I'm going to get that wood buoy sorted again and let boats come here and collect stuff. Okay. I think I, I kind of really want more people. Maybe we should just leave so we can get more people. 
even though there's a lot of resources in this area, it's kind of beautiful, but I think we should move on. You like the fishing boat? It has googly eyes. Really? It, oh, it it does. On the front, it has eyes. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's neat. And I like that this has like an outrigger. It's very um, kind of like Pacific, uh, Pacific Ocean-esque thing. Um, oh, that's a good idea, Pacifier. Pacifier Grace says, one, I, one thing we could benefit from is actually giving info on how much food and water villagers consume, like one nutrition per 10 minutes so we could plan on production capabilities. I'm, I'm quickly testing. Uh, is, is my mic settings changed? No, they sound perfect. Sounds the same. All right. Um, yeah, uh, so... Um, when I talked about the day and night cycles or just cycles in general, uh, it's the main reason for that is doing stuff like that. So you can mm -hmm. see how much you consumed, how, how well you're doing, what your fuel, fuel efficiency is and stuff like that. So, Oh, that's um, nice. Yeah. yeah, I know there's a lot of people who love to min-max and like, okay, I have 17 colonists. How many exactly do I need of, you know, water producers and all that kind of stuff? Um, so that's that's pretty cool. Okay, we're finally getting some wood. I think I'll have this person go and collect this wood. Maybe a couple of loads of wood and then come back. Zangit says, I like I like your voice, Yuda. It's very soothing. You, you should think about going into content creation. <laughs> that would be cool. Let's see. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Let's see. You got 61 fish in storage, but no one cooks them? Why not? Are they? Do you, are you talking about cooking or drying? Um, Major Muffin. Or Mage Muffin. I'm always uncertain if that's like a title of like Major Muffin. Like a muffin with epaulettes. Or if it's like, like Madge or Mage. Yeah. Okay. Getting more wood. Yay. More wet wood is coming our way. I think I'll build... Uh, I can afford it too. I can build some more wood dryers. I kind of wanted to start building those bedrooms because those are going to be fun to get going. Okay, since fish is kind of overdone, we're going to just convert these to wood drying right now. Oh, thank you, Llama. Uh, Llama Brian. Drifters go from 1 to 0 food in five, uh, uh, 5 minutes and 33 seconds, by the way. I just realized how non-round that number is. Oh, and 3 minutes 55 for water. I'm going to have to, like, clip that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, like, save that in my image program. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, Asharara. No. <laughs> Uh, they say, can we add better ways of obtaining food? Cooking our so-called pet bird. Lol, just kidding. Mm -hmm. But actually, deep sea fishing should get us a different seafood and finding stuff in cars. Old can old candy bars in houses. Canned food would be nice. We do actually have canned food that you can find in the uh, on the landmarks. I've seen that before. I don't know about old candy bars in like the 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 bends of the seats. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Not even coast. You know what? Come to our Discord, and uh, I can I can talk more about Factorio there. Uh, but yeah, please come come around, and you know what? I'll knock the Discord real quick so we can have a a link. There we go. Let's see. Uh, Cassius will ask, "What are the plans for late game in Flotsam?" Brian. <laughs> indeed, indeed. That's so funny. Uh, all right. So I think, I think I want more people because this is taking a long time to get a lot of stuff done. So I think we're going to go to a new island. Uh, yeah. Twinkie plus forever. Yes. Um, spirit asks, let's see. 
Uh, one small detail I noticed playing the game, when building pathways, the cost to construct is always in divisions of eight, regardless of how large or small the path is. It would be nice if you paid for the length rather than the set price. Okay. Um, yeah, but originally uh, we, uh, we had very small costs for walkways, so paying for a length, very hard to divide one by um, the size, but now... Um, in a very late update, we increased it to make sure that the town expansion is actually very hard to do and very uh, costly. And now we can add it, but we, we haven't thought of the systems on how to do it yet. Yeah, I have to say that I've been really trying to min-max this, this whole, like, if you start a walkway, and, like, the first segment is eight, no matter how short, and then... But if I want to do it longer, like I'll do like the latest point of 16 before it gets to 24. Um, and that's kind of a nice way to like min max it at the at this moment. Okay, so our, we have a lot of wood now. We have plastic. Wow, we could even make oh, we could make beds. I think we need more plastic though to to get there. Should we go for more people? I think we should go for more people. Let's go to another island because we have... This is still the first area. Um, I think we're going to go to Lonely Island, get some villagers, and uh, let's move... Wait, wait. Oh, we need a sail. Oh, I seem to have... <clears throat> might have forgotten to build the actual sail. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Jeez. Build it on the end here. Can't build it there. No, okay. We'll build it right on here. Yay. <laughs> Aw, cute seagull. Okay, so they're going to build this. This is the sail that we need to use to go to other areas. So um, see, if you look on the map, you can see the sail icon here. And sail icons indicate where you can go with a sail, obviously. But then you have these icons, which are oil. We're going to get some oil later in, uh, in the playthrough. And those enable us to go kind of diagonally on the map, whereas sails, we can only go with the wind direction. Which kind of makes sense, because this is a very big and kind of tenuously held together city. <laughs> I'm going to switch a couple of these to fish production. Let's put maybe this one front and this one to fish. And then the rest can be wood. <laughs> this lady loves game. I don't think there's a, this much meat on a seagull anyway. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so funny. Well, if you feed it, it might. <laughs> <laughs> okay, people, come on and build this thing. You know what? I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have our dedicated hauler person also prioritize in building a bit. I would love to to set up those priorities when we get more people. We just need to come on, go and build it. Who is it? Sammy. Sammy, get there. Build the thing, please. What is he doing right now? Hey, how you doing? There we go. Oh, he's hauling. Right. He's doing the stuffs and things. Sounds like some beefy gulls. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> All right. Come on, folks. Yeah, I, after the stream yesterday, a lot of people were talking about the um, getting some... Uh, Llamas in pajamas, uh, plushies made, and I, I for sure would love one of those. And a seagull. Oh my god, I think people would just adore those. Uh, because the illustration for the seagull is just so adorable. Are you guys planning on any kind of merch for the game? Um, we've been having lots of requests, but that's a really, uh, really um, big endeavor. So oh, probably yeah. not. Okay. Um, you know, maybe in the future, but I, I, I doubt it. Uh -huh. uh, maybe, you know, custom made for a couple of people on events or something, but that's about the max we'll probably go. Oh, okay. Or, yeah, who knows, you know, who knows what the future brings. Who knows what the future brings? You never know. The, the, the game might become extremely popular and, uh, it, well, I have to tell you, it is already very popular. It has, on my YouTube videos that I did, I have 
tons and tons of views, like more than usual for a brand new game. So I think you have a really awesome design concept for the game and people are really responding to it. I think people really like it already. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad um, the reactions are positive. Like we weren't sure heading into early access at this point was correct. Mm -hmm. But I mean, we've been working on it for five years and we've been doing a uh, alpha for quite a few months already and people really liked the alpha and liked being a part of development and giving mm -hmm. suggestions and we felt like it's time to have a big audience for that and if people really have feedback for the game on how to uh, make it better it's it's really nice to to work towards a, a game with the full community so yeah oh that's so nice Oh, I just noticed something else about the game. I love how they build stuff in stages and it actually just kind of goes up and it's it's not just like sort of emerging from the ground uh, as, as some of the old time city builders used to do, but it's actually just adding components. I think that is really cool looking. Thank you. Yeah. I sometimes uh, pushed it a bit too far, like I added little uh, working bottles where they drink and stuff in the construction of the desalinator, but uh -huh. those are... Uh, I guess uh, Easter eggs now, so uh, <laughs> just from a distance, you, you really don't. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay, so we have our sail. Let's move on to the next island. Yay! Uh, okay, move here. Woo! -hoo! All right, we are here now. Let's see what landmarks we have right now. So we have plenty of food right now. We have. Our landmark with the people. We have Ebby Scally Costner. <laughs> uh huh. There's an Easter egg right there. And Louis Coy Tribe Cut. Let's rescue those people first. <laughs> we want to get those people into our colony right now. Let's see if we can get somebody on this boat to go out. There we go. Let's Good follow me. Sammy uh, as he's going to go get them. Oh, it's this way. Okay. We uh we couldn't release a game without at least a small Easter egg of uh, Waterworld in there. So. <laughs> Sir X says, check that one for gills. <laughs> oh, Tribe Gut is flotsam in German. Oh, that's so cool. Or yeah, Tribe Gut. Tribe, tri tribe Gut is um it's really weird because Gamescom is a really big uh, German event and uh, uh -huh. people walking by and seeing the name flotsam they, they often say, oh Tribe Gut, and it's like, huh. But uh, now you know. <laughs> That's cool. That's really cool. All right. And we are meeting the natives and they're going to become part of our colony. And we have the little notifications. You know what? I think it would be great if like, I always miss the notifications. I always do. It would be good if they like stuck out for the very first for like maybe two seconds and then went back into a tiny tab like you have them here on the yeah, side. Wanna... Does that make sense? Add an animation when they pop up. That's going to be a, a good one because right now they just they appear. So um, yeah. yeah, they appear, but it, but they <laughs> appear in like the tiny tab. I think I would notice it more if it was like fully extended appearing. You know, like when you mouse over it, and then it would go back to a tiny little uh, blip there or whatever you want to call it, just the the icon view. Yeah, that makes sense. Um. I think Civilization does a similar thing, but I think they just have like big icons and then dropping down or something to get, to get your attention. But um, Okay. Um, yeah, and, for some reason I, d I don't notice those, but it could be just me. It could be just, I am very willing to accept that that might just be me. <laughs> oh, no, no. It, uh, it's 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 definitely, uh, like a lot of people don't notice that there's things there. So Okay, um, okay. We need, to, we need to change that ASAP. Oh, wow. There's mountains of fish here. This is great. Let's go and collect some more fish. Let's put down three fishing spots here. Okay, and we need to get some stuff. What do we want? We want plastic first, I think. So let's go hunt down a plastic mine. <clears throat> There's one over here. Yay. Okay, 131 plastic. This is awesome. Mm. All that precious garbage. Yes, all the precious garbage, exactly. Oh, and just for the future video, Zangatsui is asking, is there any chance we'll be able to buy the soundtrack in the future? It's very nice. And uh, Pajama um, Stan... Oh, go ahead, you can you can answer as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I saw Stan answer it, but I'll, I'll answer it for people um, listening um, or maybe rewatching. I don't know. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we are. We are we're looking into it. 
um, the composer is a really nice guy, but he uh, he wants to um, make more tracks before he wants to release a soundtrack. So uh, we're looking at it for the future. That sounds great. I would love more tracks. I love it's so relaxing and just just kind of gazing at this beautiful like Caribbean blue water and the gentle motion of the waves. It's very sort of ASMR. <laughs> to know it's so chill to play this game i really really enjoy it so i'm excited to hear that like there's more tracks coming uh and we'll be able to just like listen to it uh even without the game yeah i'm, I'm excited myself it's it's really great every time he makes music even for the the last trailer we did he did it in like one day and so, uh, great thanks wow and it. holy fuzzy cats that's quick one day wow Okay, I want to build... I need to build another storage because apparently we don't have enough plastic to make anything. No! Okay, let's build this here. I think I'm going to make another bridge coming out here for our people to, like, have a place to sleep. So, uh... When we started working with him, uh, he actually made his own instrument uh, to make the music in. So, uh, really? some of the sounds you hear... Yes, yes. So some of the sounds you hear is... Uh, his homemade instrument, which is really, really cool. That is so cool. Wow. That's pretty neat. Okay, peeps. Keep on building the storage yard. Um, Ashara asks, any inside info on research options coming our way in future updates? Um, we definitely 100% sure want to expand research. As it is right now, it's pretty confusing. Uh, you can research something that you can't build because you need something else. So mm. we want to add trees and stuff like that. And... Uh, possibly even research things that are not buildings because right now it's only buildings but um when it's gonna happen i'm not sure yet uh we add, we, add, we added this as a very basic implementation to really um not put a strain on the early game because if you have all building buildings available from the start it might be very um, um overwhelming mm -hmm. overwhelming maybe um, but, overwhelming uh, <laughs> overwhelming <laughs> Uh, oh dear, the pun's coming out in full force right now. <laughs> yeah, we have a full pun document ready for the go, but... Uh... Oh, excellent! <laughs> full pun document! I don't think I've ever heard of one of those, but that sounds great. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so, let's see. Get some more stuff. Um, you know, I have to say that I, I like the research, but I was really... Um, I'm very careful when I buy like research stuff with limited points that I can't generate. So I'm like, wait a second, this costs something that I have no idea what, you know, where that is. And then I'm like, okay, this, I need this thing first and that thing first. But, you know, for people who aren't careful in looking, it could be a really good thing to have like more tiered research or something. Um, even though yeah, I kind of yeah. like it the way it is, but that's a good idea to kind of break that up so that people don't get stuff that they can't actually build. You definitely, definitely want to expand it and, and remove the option of like um, make um, researching things that you you cannot uh, build yet. So, mm -hmm. but that's for the future. Um, well, future, near future. Let me let me put it up. Nice. Yeah, I also had this thought like because it's so open ended. I was like, hmm, maybe we could actually find screws somewhere or pipes, you know, and don't actually have to craft it. Um, but do you have to craft them or are they findable on the, uh, landmarks? Uh, right now you have to craft them, but, um, we have some factory landmarks, uh, in works and stuff like that, that might be used to, to get you screws or pipes, mainly pipes. Actually, we have some pipe factory mm -hmm. concepts. Um, but to balance that all out, it's, uh, it's pretty hard. So right now we, we, um, we focus the landmarks on the most important things, which is dry wood, firewood and food. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, in the near future, we're definitely going to look at uh, expanding landmarks more and more, having different options or uh, maybe a choice of options and stuff like that. Um, and then we we'll, we might add those things where you can have uh, runs where you find the landmark. If, if the map is randomly generated, where you have um, maybe a run where you find the landmark that gets screws, you can look into researching something uh, that requires screws faster, so you can have a different build where you have a very early footwork and stuff like that. It's something uh -huh. you, really, you really want, so... Yeah. That makes sense, because it would make games a little bit more varied and, like, add to the replayability as well. You know, one thing that I keep forgetting or I don't see or something in chat was people have asked, are you um, adding any modding possibilities to the game? Uh, we are not. 
Yes, no, um, okay. we are still a small team and that would be uh, even a lot of work. Um, if we do it, maybe in a couple of years, but I mean... Okay, so that's like a far off, if ever, kind of thing. Okay, I just wanted to check because I know a lot of people, they keep asking about this. Because um, I think a lot of people are also coders and programmers and they like to add to the games that they really like. So, but that's a good... Uh, I'm, I'm glad that, that you have that uh, as, well, an answer. Yay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, we have a question from Spirit. What are some new resources that the game will introduce in the future? Um, well, um, well, we have some resources in there that are not enabled right now, like muscles, uh, but also mm -hmm. we're looking at uh, you know, some, some actually some really basic resources like rubber. Is also, uh, it's always possible Ooh. that we add that. But, uh -huh. um, our pr priority right now would actually be uh, adding very rare items. Uh, which can build very uh, rare buildings that <gasps> make very different, um, how do you say that, different buildings that really uh, change right. the, the, the runs you're going at. Ooh, uh, so you, you... like unique things. Interesting. I, I'm intrigued yeah, now. That, that sounds cool. To, to effectively do that, we really need to have a very good random generation and to, mm -hmm. to not have it be required in the game. Like if you have a, a resource, um, for instance, the mast, um, if you can't find the mast, you can never move. If you have something like that for food production and you can never get good food production, it's not going to be good. So we really yeah. want to give players, uh, you know, sometimes you know, give players the ball and have them have a very cool, uh, nice building that really changes their run. Maybe they have a very good food production building that they can focus on water more or exploration and stuff like that. But um, again, to do that, we really need to amplify uh, the randomness first before we can start looking at those things. That sounds fun. Okay, fun can... and also very hard to balance. So that's <laughs> yeah. Thing. Balance is a hard thing, I have to say, and. I think balance is one of the things that makes a game fun. So that's one of the like really crucial things that needs to be kind of gotten right in the game. Oh, that's for sure. Let's see. Are my people? Oh, yeah. all right. We're getting some dry I'm wood having... from that shack town. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh no, that's okay. When just uh, when you have a small team, balancing is very very hard to do because you you effectively are not producing anything for the development of the game. You are just making it play better. Uh, mm -hmm. However, when new things get added, it needs to be, be balanced again. It needs to be balanced again. So, it's uh, it's it's literally a full time job that mm -hmm. we can't do yet right now. But it's being I mean, it's being worked on. We we, we, we make we make time for it. But it's um, it's always going to be tricky, and that's really annoying. But um, we're looking <laughs> it's to... really annoying. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I can imagine. Yeah, and you know it's funny because um, the feedback from the community can be like oh my god it's way too hard and then the same you know of the same version another person oh my god it's way too easy so i think it's like it's hard to strike that happy balance between those things and and also kind of respond to people as well some games really solve that by adding like a, like oxygen not included it like a no sweat mode or a mode without diseases or you can mm -hmm. choose if you have that or not because i really hate the diseases in oxygen that's why oh I yes that off. they're rough that's really nice but um it also just requires double the balancing when we already do yeah. not have time to do that right now so uh we're uh going to look at it but it'll be for the, the very far future mm -hmm. that makes sense or just far future, maybe not very far, because it's definitely <laughs> something we want. I'm gonna turn off this. No, I, I, I'll keep it actually. I was just building this long um, walkway out here so we can start getting some houses for our people, because we have five people and no houses yet. So it's gonna be important to get. Let's see, this one go to. Letting them sleep on walk. Yeah, that's yeah, it's rough times, but there it's it's fine. It's just a little harder than the bed. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny touch harder. <laughs> oh boy. One of the the things you always read in like survival guide and how to to actually survive on water if you if you get stuck there in real life is um being able to not dry out from the, the heat of the sun mm -hmm. uh, so the beds the beds being tier one is actually pretty funny because it, it 
the bets do not give you shelter from the sun, and then if you upgrade uh -huh. to the houses, they do. But we don't have any of those mechanics in there, and so okay. it may be in the very far future, but it's it's not even planned. It's not even on our radar, but it, it always... Like, like the see. whole, like, doesn't, uh, they don't uh, dry out kind of thing, or they don't need more water, right? Is that, that's what yeah. we're talking about? So in, in gameplay, it's 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 not that not that interesting of a mechanic, so we didn't want to go in there. Like there's okay. more interesting mechanics to add for drifters, like needs and <laughs> and I don't know morale or like there's there's a lot of interesting things that we want to do and maybe temperature or stuff like that is ever coming, but it's doubtful. Mm -hmm. But it, it's okay. always nice to look at like we, uh, our thought process, like maybe maybe we wanted to do that first, take the beds and then the houses and okay. have some shelter there, but. Um, yeah, that's scrapped. <laughs> I think I think Peps in chat read my mind. The first thing I thought when when you said, yeah, that the beds are not protected from the sun and they dry people dry out. I'm like, well, why don't they just make water beds then? <laughs> Jeez. Oh man. Oh. I guess it wasn't Fun as funny as I thought. Never mind. <laughs> you know, I I I'm I'm not used to push to talk. I'm I'm laughing behind, but you don't hear me. <laughs> No, it's okay. It's just, it was just like, hmm, that could actually be kind of a funny thing. They would have like the motion of the sea underneath the bed, and then they would have it in the bed. So you'd have like double. I wonder if they would get seasick. Oh dear. No, never mind about the water beds then. <laughs> Stan and Stan and Brian behind me are uh, are uh, they 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 think they think they feel everyone. <laughs> oh dear. Well, by not having water beds already. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can. Did yeah, just, just add, just add water. Yeah, <laughs> but then I, we we'd probably need more plastic for that. I think. Well, it it needs eight plastic for a small house already, but uh, yeah, you know, because you got to contain the water in those giant bags that they have. Wait, let me check my buoys. Am I still? Yeah, I have. Uh, yep. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, a little fun fact: the the model of the the model of the beds. Uh, originally it was actually floating in the water as well so you could pick it up and then eventually yeah it's wood but you make uh -huh. a bed with it so that's pretty funny uh, right now it's not <laughs> that's cool it, it was a, it was a bit confusing like okay oh, and just not take this ah uh, yeah i ahead. see i guess but, if uh, it was like broken up yeah. into a couple of pieces like maybe i don't know looked like it was broken in half and sort of bendy or something oh it was it was if you actually uh look at um because i can see like the, the nightstand in the water here and then there's a bookcase yes, as the, well. The bookcase will actually be deconstructed in a couple of steps, maybe only two, uh, but it, it, as it only provides two wood, but uh, it will uh -huh. actually uh, uh, do that. Oh, is that a thing? You're going to uh, you're going to use these things to to actually process them in a the wood chopper's place, or uh, like to to no, cut like, up I the mean, bookcases you, you, or. If you if you go with a boat out there and you put a buoy there, the boat huh? will um, it'll take half of the bookcase first and then the other half. Oh, so I didn't know that. Okay, I should I should watch that. I'm yeah. gonna check that out next time they go out. That's cool. Uh, by the way, There's thank a, you, a Ash. Of... Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I was just gonna say thank you, Ash Conte, so much for the hundred bits. Really appreciated. Um. Okay. So I'm sorry. What were you saying again? Oh no, I was just gonna say that we added a lot of small little details that we might have. You know, we shouldn't just to have get at it and maybe <laughs> worked on a bit of bigger things. But it's nice to, um, I guess, polish the game because we're really, we're really, we're really passionate about and what we want people to, you know, experience. Mm -hmm. And um, adding those things, is, it's just, it's just really cool for ourselves as well. So. Yeah, I agree with that. I think that, you know, some some game developers add the polish as the last step. But for an early access game, I think it's really kind of important. I mean, I play a lot of games, so I'm just this is just my own opinion. But I, I feel like it helps people get into a game. It helps people fall in love with a game to see nice things and tiny details and things that like make them come back and just really like, oh, this is so good. You know, I really enjoy being here in this environment and maybe it doesn't have the amount of content as a finished game, but I just like being in this place, you know? So that that's just my own thoughts on it. Yeah, no, but we agree. It's uh, we're happy with uh, the amount of uh, polish we already did, but mm -hmm. there's a lot more coming actually. So, oh, that's awesome! First, first, first and foremost, we're focusing on like uh, more control and game design. 
Okay, okay. That's cool. Uh, thank you so very much to Zeofia. Uh, Zeofia? I hope that's right. Uh, thank you so much for the subscription. Much, much appreciated. Uh, and then we have a question from... Let's see. Oh, the Eerie. Hello, welcome. Um, you just joined. Was the technical issues discussed to any extent? I don't think so. I think most of the big bugs have been kind of smashed good. And, um, but you're still taking bug reports right on the uh, Discord and, uh, and Steam, I believe. There's a couple of uh, big bugs still in there. Uh, okay. One of them is that the, the woodworking shed suddenly uh, receives plastic and fish and then it gets forever. Um, <laughs> oh no! Does it affect production at all, good. that one? Oh, well, yeah, the, so the, the woodworking shed is full, so you can't import any more. Oh, uh, I see, I see. Okay, okay. So that's a tricky one. We haven't actually tracked it down just yet, uh, but okay. we have a like a small hotfix coming and uh, that will um, negate it but then we still mm -hmm. have to find what it what actually is causing it because we okay. have no idea it's very sporadic like we had a full two weeks uh, that we even in-house fully tested together with the QA team mm. from congregate and mm -hmm. we never came across it it's like some very huh. uh, random thing to find so uh, stuff like that it's uh, but yeah we're working hard i mean it's already the uh, seventh hotfix or so so uh, wow ex ex expect more to come Okay. Wow, the seventh hotfix. That's that's pretty amazing. Wow. So you've you've been working long hours, I see, at the office. Dang. Yeah, the the code squad has really been hacking at the the bugs constantly. It's okay. So we have a question from Yugubugu asking are they go are you going to focus more on making this an open-ended city builder or more of a single run style game like ftl um doesn't wait isn't ftl open ended? i have i haven't only played ftl for like 10 minutes so isn't it <laughs> well ftl has an end point where you get to the mothership it's kind of like a boss spaceship that you have to defeat so it, oh, okay, this like game that. is kind of like FTL, except like there's no big bad pressure. Like you could literally farm a map until it's done. I mean, so, so long as you have enough food and stuff. Um, but FTL has this pressure uh, of an additional like swarm that's coming to get you. Um, but it does have the whole like you are entering a small area of space and you can do X, you know, activity here. Like there's a shop or there's a uh, an enemy spacecraft or... Um, or, I don't know, random events like solar flares or something. Hey, hello. Um, well, in that case, I, I, just, I think we're going more for open-ended. We really want to emphasize the, the the map going random generated, like we, we're working towards that, and we really uh -huh. want to, to have, um, how do you say that, like a different experience every game, and mm -hmm. to, go, uh, to go on infinitely if you want it to be, uh, with your cool. goals not being... Uh, restraint to that, I guess. Um, but it's hard to answer this question as I, have, I haven't played FDL enough to answer it. Okay. Okay, so right now, if people are watching, I am... Wow, the Eerie! Thank you so very much for the generous 1,000-bit donation. Thank you! Wow! Oh my gosh, that's so generous! <laughs> Let's get some hype in chat, please, for the Eerie. Let's get that. Cat train! Yay! There we go. Thank you so very much. Wow. Um, I hope you're enjoying the stream. Um, let's see. Hex says FTL is a game where you can play for five years on easy and still not beat it, but you enjoy it the whole time. Maybe hate it a little bit too. <laughs> you know what? I agree with that statement. I really agree with that statement. There was a time I was really into FTL and it was so hard to beat the boss and so hard to even get to the boss. Um, but I really enjoyed it every time. I, I would go for like the different unlocks so you could get different ship layouts and stuff like that. And it was cool. It's, it's kind of like, um, the encounters you go to, like on the map, we have, you know, these big spaces, like where we are now, the lonely Island where you can do multiple things. FTL is more like you can do one thing and you get a chance to also upgrade your ship, but it's very 
tiny little thing. You, you move from place to place every, like, what, one or two minutes or something? So here you would stay in an area for, I don't know, 10 or 20 minutes or 30 even. So it's it's a little bit different, but it is kind of episodic, like, um, like uh, FTL a bit. But I love that there's, like, no pursuing danger. That always stressed me in FTL. <laughs> It, it's uh, the FDL has been mentioned a lot in the design discussions, so I know of the, uh -huh. like the, the, the ongoing danger constantly. Um, yeah, yeah. We've, we've, we've talked about it, but I don't think it's it's the game hundred percent. But we're definitely mm -hmm. gonna add something that that does um um how do you say that like um makes you choose, you know, uh, like do okay. I stay here or stuff like that. And that's maybe sure. not something that's after you, but it's something that you can get you can gain by actually moving or stuff like that. Um, but yeah, again, that's that's so vague uh, that it doesn't help much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna build one of these these houses, quote unquote houses. They are a bed. It's a very precious little bed because our people need a place to stay. I know there's been a lot of question of do people share beds or are beds assigned? I think they're assigned. Uh, is that right? Yes, they want their privacy. They want their privacy. Okay, that makes sense. I love how there's like the under um, support structures is like these two barrels, you know, probably some kind of like metal barrels filled with, I guess, air that they're floating and attached to the wooden platform. That's quite cute. Um, it, but it, it, it's it's realistic because, you know, you'd need you need a structure. You can't just have a bed, you know, standing in the water. That would be inconvenient. <laughs> Oh, here we go, getting materials. So, um, I don't know if you noticed everyone, but I just made some assignments here. I basically made two people, Scally and Koi, because they have um, some resistances. This guy eats less. Oh no, that I think it's a she, maybe, Ebby. Um, she eats less, and then Koi, uh, he drinks less. So they're, I guess they're more capable of going out on long journeys, even though sometimes, you know, everybody else does too. Um, but since there's no like movement speed bonus yet, um, I'll just pick them to be at the bottom of the list and they get the priorities for fishing duties and also for salvaging stuff. One of the things that I like to do, like, um, if I put out the salvage boys for, uh, swimming is sometimes you tell these people no swimming, uh, so that they they take the boats rather than they go and swim. Whereas if these people are done with their stuff, they can just go and swim for stuff instead. So, yeah. Um, is there a reason to buy the game on Humble Bundle instead of Steam? Well, it if you buy it on Humble Bundle, I get a tiny percentage. You also support charity um, and uh, you still get a Steam key. So there's, there's those reasons. <laughs> but you can buy it any place you like. Um, you know, it's a great, great game to enjoy. I, I'm loving it so far. Let's see. Aha! Let's see. Yugubu asks, uh, will you add the ability to choose the survivors uh, you save from each area, or is it take all or nothing? Uh, because sometimes I only want two or th two or okay sorry sometimes i want only one of the two or three on the island so i'm i'm, I'm thinking yugu Bugu doesn't want to increase the population by three they just like want one survivor instead um yes we definitely want to change it um we we even want to make it so that it's it's not based on your choice maybe maybe the people want to stay themselves oh. um but that's going to be for uh, later developments um right now it's a take it all or, or take it out no one but um that's going to okay that sounds good oh let's look at the beds real quick see there's a tiny llama there oh so cute we have an alarm clock to wake up and there's a llama nice and who is this who gets the first bed this is sammy oh he deserves a first bed he's like our first colonist all right uh and then the eerie asks uh can uh catherine of sky can you sum up your experience so far in a few words I think the game is very chill, very relaxed. It's a lot of fun to play. There's definitely a lot of 
balancing that you have to do. I think it's a much, much easier than when I started in my first playthrough with the, the balance of food and fish. Um, but then I've also gained a huge amount of experience and know when to send people out to go and get stuff. So that may be just me playing a lot better than I did before. Um, there's a lot of fun uh, in doing, getting, just choosing different stuff. Like, do we want animals or do we want people? Um, and then there's other resources and just kind of finding random things. Um, of course, the graphics are glorious, just beautiful. Um, and the game plays really well. And um, I haven't, somebody asked me yesterday on, uh, on um, YouTube, are there any crashes? Uh, because they had had some crashes and I have not experienced any hard crashes to the game. I found a few issues, but I've reported them to the developers and uh, they, they fix those bugs uh, immediately. So as far as early access, um, I think to get to the very end map, we, we played about four hours yesterday or four and a half and we got to the end of the map, but then the map loops around so you can go through and keep on playing. Um, so if you decided to go this way, you could go the other way. Do, do, are the choices, are, like, are they fresh choices? Are these islands, like, marked off, uh, Yuda? Or do, are they, um, do you get new people if you always choose, like, the lonely island every time? Um, you get new people, so the map is reset. Uh, okay, so you, get to the end. you could have a huge colony of, like, many, many people on your, on your, uh, um, your colony, right? Like, you can. Somebody I've wanted me to, to go. Like a, go ahead. A very, Sorry. very big town. So uh, I'm, I'm going to be um, amazed if someone can get it to very, very high. Somebody so, asked me yesterday, get it to a, a thousand citizens. And I'm like, huh? <laughs> I don't know if we can support that money. But man, that would be kind of funky to get even to like a hundred people. Um, that would be, I, I want to, I might try that and try to get a, like a really big town. So... But anyway, it's it's. Um, I hope that's enough of a summary. Summary, uh, the eerie. If you want to want to know anything else, feel free to ask, uh, because I played the game. Let me check on Steam how many hours I have in the game so far. Fourteen hours. So yeah, I've played for a bit, and it's just chill. <laughs> it's just so chill. <laughs> Yeah, you would need a lot more storage and homes. Um, the bigger homes that you can research, they um, they have they can hold two people. And I, I want to see what they look like. That would be good. Oh, oh, that's another good question. Are you planning on like variations for um, buildings like homes and beds that you have to build a lot of so that they look like more unique in your colony? Yes, we only have that for uh, houses right now. Okay. Uh, due to lack of uh, lack of time, but um. Okay. There's three different houses. <laughs> oh, there's three different houses. Are they in the game already then? Yes, they are. Uh, oh. oh, wait. There's also two different um, storage yards, like the large one. Ah. Um, so the system is there. We just we just need time to time to make them. Okay. Um, we also have Sounds some, like, for the desalinator, the late building, we have some different voice, uh, like, colors and stuff. Ooh. All in due time. It's like it's low priority to add um, the different art for the buildings we uh -huh. really want every town to look unique and have their their, their different um uh buildings but um uh -huh. right now we're fo focusing on adding more content instead of making okay. it more pretty well that sounds good okay oh that's good to know that it's kind of like incoming oh that's exciting oh i need more geez it's always plastic or wood now i need to turn off plastic and get more wood Okay, let's turn this down to zero, and then I'll get a wood buoy out here as well. Oh, no, I don't need a wood buoy. I just need to harvest the rest of this. Maybe. Oh, no, they were getting firewood. Aha. Okay, let's get some more, because we might get more research points here. Okay, let's put down a buoy for this wood. There we go. Oh, and our, our wonderful boat's coming back with more plastic. Hooray. I think I'm going to set this person... The one getting the the salvage to go to the landmark first, if we can do that, or ish. There we go. And Wilson is asking, how long will I be streaming today until I get tired? Skybrain, wow! Thank you so very much for the five dollar donation. Much much appreciated. Thank you. Let me get you some. Um, let me get you a cat train. Woohoo! Thank you. Okay. Um, we have 
any plans to relocate built structures instead of tearing them down? I'm guessing they Hexed wants to like kind of drag them around and float them to a different area. Is that a possibility? Um, uh, a fun little uh, story like we want to add like tugboats that can do that, but that's Ooh. um, it's 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 not probably not going to be in the game. Uh, uh, if it is, it's going to be very late. Um, it it would be very cool, but um. Again, it's it's a quite a, a, a um, hard system to add, and right now it's low priority. So okay, um, okay. Yeah, it all it all really depends on how how we can uh, how we can um, when you say that yeah, like um, grow as a team as well and, and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the Erie has a comment saying, uh, based on your comments that bugs are being fixed, I think Steam news updates should have more love. I read a few reviews and decided to put it on hold. Now I hear bugs are being sneaky fixed. So I think um, they're saying that if you add, maybe put more on the Steam announcement in the news page, um, that the bugs are being fixed, it might be, I don't know, better for things, sales and, um, uh, and stuff. Yeah. Like Brian said, most of the fixes were done free launch as we um, as we uh, gave some keys to ah, yes. uh, streamers, streamers and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we didn't want to announce on Steam that we're making hot fixes for a game that's not out yet. Um, oh yeah, so yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense, right? This weekend will be the the, the first hot fix for the public uh, early access as we're. Um, mm -hmm. It's easier to push a hot fix through to uh, a small audience, like when we uh, when the streamers only played. Uh, but mm -hmm. now for the uh, a larger audience, we don't want to mess things up and make it worse. So uh, oh, we tested yeah, that a bit makes more, sense. and we're pushing it through this weekend probably. So holy fuzzy cats, the eerie! Wow, thank you so very much for the tier three subscription to Llama Brian. Thank you so very much, the Eerie. That's so very kind of you. And Llama Brian, welcome to the club. <laughs> now you can also make lots of cat trains. <laughs> All right, let me get a cat train. And thank you so very much, the Eerie. That's very, very generous of you. Wow. Uh, see you later, Wilson. That's awesome. Um, let's see. Make some cat trains, Brian. Makes yeah, cat time. trains. Yeah. Oh, so on Twitch, um, when you have a subscription, you can use the um, the emoticons for my channel. And um, and also, I th think, no, I think that's pretty much it. You get the emotes. And uh, yeah, and then you get a new a subscriber badge, which for mine, mine is a progressive subscriber badge. As you can see, Llama Brian has a seed. And then I have the seed with the little sprout in it. And um, every three months, the, uh, the, the thing changes. Uh, so you get kind of like, yeah. It's 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 nice. <laughs> it's cool. The emotes is all you need. <laughs> nice. And then the tier three is the most expensive subscription, um, which the Eerie has gone completely wild on. I have to say, thank you so much for that. And uh, you have extra emoticons for the tier two and the tier three. So yeah, and yeah, and you get cat crafting and the goddess emote. So um, okay, so we have. I have an issue. Somebody was talking to me over here. This I think it was him. Is that Sammy? Hellaba. I'm unable to haul these items to a storage because there's no space. Aye, that's not good. So he's looking for canned goods space. Uh, I think we've got these from here. Yeah, we got eight canned goods and an additional two research points. Uh, looks like I need to build some more storage for that. Um, hmm. Yep. Town heart is full. One thing I was just confused on real quick, right just now, is that I saw the the exclamation point above his head, but it disappeared. Is that is that something that uh, should happen? <laughs> that yeah, it that, disappears. That's, uh, that's intentional. So we don't want to like if there's a constant um, exclamation mark above their heads, uh, uh -huh. it's, it might be. Uh, People might think there's constantly something wrong, but it's actually it can be fixed on its own by maybe someone take something out of the storage to dry something and stuff like that. So it okay. can be or firewood being being taken to put into the uh, distiller. So we don't want people to think like, oh no, no, there's instantly an error. Um, but ah. if, it, if, it, if it's for longer than I believe 20 seconds, I could be wrong on the seconds. Uh, uh -huh. He will start wa waving at the camera and have a, an uh, exclamation mark above his head to okay. tell you that. He's uh, he's a bit stuck. He can't do anything. So, and okay. Then when okay. we click him, he he'll explain why. Okay. I just I saw the exclamation point and then I didn't click him and then it disappeared. 
I was I was just like, well, what if I had been on the other side of the city and I hadn't seen it? It's like, no, I would never know. Well, it, it'll return. Uh, like it will return. It will return. Okay, okay, that's good. If he stays there, he'll uh, he'll wave again and he'll wave again, and eventually, like if there's really no storage at all, um, mm -hmm. all all your drifters will be stuck and they'll all be waving. So eventually, uh, you, you be, we'll find it eventually, right? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open this storage up for some of that stuff. Yeah, I could have done this one as well. Okay. Okay, we need wood. Okay, folks, go and get some wood for us. Looks like... Oh, one thing that I should note is that whenever your buoys run out of material, they will disappear on their own. So you don't have to, like, manually click that off, which is really nice. And uh, let's see, we need wood. I hope they're getting that, but they're actually prioritizing this. So food is good. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so he's still getting this food. I love the way they, they walk around here and then like he's going to go into this house and the whole house shakes because it's just so precariously balanced up here. <laughs> it's just such a funny, humorous um, uh, animation there. Ooh. Okay. XX is giving us some uh, explanation. Do they say Helaba or Merhaba? Merhaba means hello in Turkish. Made me think about that. So we decided they're speaking Flemish, a very um, old dialect or thick dialect. And, uh, yeah, so it's uh, we're, we're actually from, um, we call it East Flanders, uh, but we're actually pretty to the west side, I guess, now that I think of it. Uh, <laughs> from west the west Fl east. West the West Flanders is actually uh, next to us, and uh -huh. <clears throat> so we, we know a lot of uh, West Flemish people. Uh, mm -hmm. So we let them uh, voice record this. Uh, Stan is actually also originally from, uh, well, his family is from uh, Bruges. Uh -huh. uh, Bruges, Bruges uh, is, I think it's like a famous city, like people know it. Yes, uh, because yes. Because of the movie uh, in Bruges, that's a West Flemish city, so they, they talk uh -huh. West Flemish there as well. Um, and Helaba is uh, what they say, it's like a, a, a weird way of saying hello. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I know Bruges from Railroad Tycoon. That's a pretty decent city in Railroad Tycoon. Like, I played 1, 2, and 3 and other other versions. But yeah, I've always wondered how you pronounce it. So thank you for that. <laughs> now I know. Oh, in Lama well, Brian. Go ahead. If you want to, like in Flemish, we say uh, Brehe. So uh, that's the that's the that's how we pronounce it. Wow. Brehe? Brehe? Sort of, not, 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 that's a very Americanized accent. <laughs> that's really interesting. Huh. Do you spell it differently than, or do you spell it B-R-U-G-E-S in uh, Flemish? We do spell it uh, differently. We spell it uh, B-R-U-G-G-E. So double G. Ah, okay. That's cool. Uh, Lama Brian says in chat, also fun fact about the voices, all the voices are done by us and some of our family and friends. Ah, oh, that's great. That yep. is pretty I, I didn't cool. do any of the voices though. <laughs> you I, didn't uh, do any of the voices? <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't want to. I didn't want to, because I, I, every time I play the game, hear my own voice, I, I didn't, I, 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 <laughs> I uh, no, no. Yeah, and since you play your own game often for testing, yeah, that would get kind of interesting. I know when I became a content creator, I was like, who is that voice? Oh my god, is that me? Really? Hmm? And it, and it took me, like, years to get used to my own voice, so I, I know the feels. <laughs> there, that's quite funny. Oh, here are the canned foods that we were... I was talking about earlier how, like, the cans are as big as the people. Why are these people not doing anything? Do I have not enough for them to do? You know what? We need more for them to do. We need to build some... I'm going to get some ropes going on here. Because we can build more boats so they can do more uh, scavenging. Uh, Alright. There we go. Just need to dry some wood. Oh, that's awesome, Pajama Stan. Yeah. Lama Brian says, I cringe a little when hearing me yell at myself. <laughs> That's so funny. And Zoam, yes, you can move the city um, on the map here. You can go to different areas. 
and and get stuff. Okay, so I want to build. Let's see. We need that. Need more wood. Okay, these people are gathering the wood. I'm just gonna sort of um, speed up the game just a teeny bit here. All right. Whoa! Wow, everything got wet there. That was rough times. Excellent. Wow, we need two dry wood for each rope. I didn't realize that. Wow. Oh, what is this? I have to go and see this. <laughs> wow, all of the items in the water. Those are great. Ooh. Oh, I see the mussels. Nice. Oh yeah, the mussels actually really uh, stack pretty fun. It's, uh... <laughs> Well, it'll be first feature. They'll, they'll go back in. Okay. They'll go back in. Okay, I'm happy to hear that. Seems, seems like people really want like a lot of variety in food. That makes sense. And I ha we had a thought yesterday. I don't know if you were there for that. It would be... I know you, you don't want to have like uh, farming like uh, trees or things like that. But I was wondering if you were going to add something like a single, like an orange tree. So our people don't get scurvy. You know, like maybe you find a seed at, at one of these uh, landmarks or something and then have to nurture an orange tree for your colony. Uh, I'm not sure how it actually works, but isn't scurvy like from a dried um, meat from like uh, uh, land animals? I'm not sure. No, um, scurvy is, is basically lack of vitamin C and it causes people's teeth uh, to okay. fall out and stuff. So that's why like... Um, on long sailing voyages, people used to take like oranges and lemons and stuff so that people didn't have that lack of vitamin C. Because like in the ocean, like with fish, it, they, you don't get any of that. So it's kind of like a re it's a really bad problem actually, like in the old days of sailing and stuff where they had yeah. to spend months at sea and stuff. Okay, let's Now see. suddenly a lot of uh, gameplay mechanics around scurvy and oranges make sense to me now. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. We have a question. Let's see. All oh, right. So yeah, right. That was a question. Um, we are. Oh, oh sorry. No, I'm. At, um, I I didn't mean that. No, I I, I didn't mean to be rude. I was actually looking at chat again. But no, no. I was just. It was just a generalized kind of like question of like, huh? Have you thought about this before? But people in chat are asking about. Let's see. Mage Muffin says there's on the large storage yard there's a front place that they can walk on can they use that as a walkway instead of the regular ones to save space um yes but um you, can, you cannot build it um in a way right now that it's used as a walkway mm -hmm. right now you have to use it against the walkway um originally we had it like it's 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 an option but now they can walk on it so um okay yeah so I guess that's part of like the decorative part of the sprite kind of thing, right? Or the model, the walkway in front, ish. Um, well, yeah, uh, they 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 just walk on it to deliver the stuff, so they have like an extra little platform. Oh, that's nice. So they don't like get crap. Is there traffic in the game? I haven't even thought about that. Like, if there's too many people running and carrying stuff around, like, can they block each other? Uh, right now, they just uh, go through each other. Um, okay. So no. Oh, like I, I can actually see Sammy. Oh no, not Sammy. Someone's waving at you uh, next oh. to the next to the wood breaking shop. Oh. Oh, there's no space for them. <gasps> oh, well, that's okay though. Okay, so this is what you were talking about. Of like, okay, people are like com complaining about things, but I don't actually want them to haul stuff because 33 wet wood seems like enough for me at the moment. I'm gonna convert these to wood drying for now and so maybe he'll stop complaining at me <laughs> but i kind of i try to like limit my my colony sometimes by storage like for certain things like fish uh lots of oh and i haven't done that at here i usually disable fish in the town heart and then i have one storage available to take wet fish uh, and so i only want them to fill up that storage and then the rest can just like sit in the boat Mad Dex, that could be interesting. Jeez. <laughs> oh, um, okay, so let's see. We want to. I'm just going to build another mooring point. I'm just going in this direction. Let's see. Yeah, here. 
trying very hard to make my colony different than the other one <laughs> that I had. <laughs> Only one storage for wet fish? My paranoia would sound the alarm. I don't think we need more than that. And then the boat will also go out and get more fish. So we would have like 30 wet fish or 20 plus. So that seems like enough. Uh... Oh, thank you, Pandion. Yeah, it's it's a little bit different. I, and I think it doesn't really matter the layout as long as certain things are clustered together. Like you have your wood next to wood storage and fish next to fish drying and storage where you can use it. This is a bit of an anomaly because I'm using the wood here. But the dry wood only goes to the town heart at the moment. So they have to go through this point anyway. <laughs> Major Muffin says, I at the moment only have 60 plus fish and water, and now I'm like, phew, I got some leeway. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We're on smaller margins at the moment. We're still trying to build stuff. Okay, so let's build. Let's get this going. Hopefully they're going to construct this uh, mooring point soon. I kind of am wondering what we should get in research now. Should we get the houses? And we can actually start building houses for our people. As a first thing, because we're actually kind of kind of good on everything else, we could get the workshop for the scrapsmith, which is good. And that will lead us into getting the food truck, which is, is a nice building. I'm sorry, go ahead. Is there anything you haven't you haven't built yet? Or did you build everything already? I I haven't built in other games, I have not built the fishing hut. I don't think the fishing hut's actually that useful at the moment, because like, you use the seaweed to catch a fish, presumably one for one. It doesn't say, but... Um, it's uh, one, one for three, I think. Is it one for three? Oh, okay. But that's kind of... Uh, okay, that's a little bit better than the food truck, because it's... Let's see, one seaweed plus one fish gets you three sushi. Okay, one for three is nice. I kind of wish those numbers were on the uh, research screen so we could kind of like, yeah. you know, compare them. I, like, I, I just noticed noticed that they're not. So uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, writing, I'm writing. I have to say, I really love that you added construction cost because it's like, oh, can we build this now? And you look at the solar still and it's like 18 wood. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot. It's very expensive. So I like that you have that and you can see what materials you need. Let's see. I haven't built the desalinator. Um, I haven't built the still for... I don't think people have seen that. I've built it in a private, you know, non-camera game. Um, I've, um, but... I've put in a lot a lot of uh, work in the, in the building states of the desalinator. So if you uh -huh. want to look at some building states, that's also okay. a building to that sounds great. Okay, so but we do need the workshop first, the scrapsmith. I don't. I've never used a plastic recycler. I, I have a question. Are those plastic nets? Are, are they used for anything? They are used to make the fishing hut. So you'll need it for the fishing hut. I... The fishing hut. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. 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 That's right. Okay. So that's another kind of like it is a workshop. It's under the workshop tab. Imagine that. Uh, I have not built the big storage yard or the proper house yet. So, what do you think? Should we go? I'm kind of really curious about the houses. Um, let's see. Uh, Yugo Bugo, yeah, the um, assigning different ships to different mooring docks, that's in process, I think. That's on the list. It's let's not see. in process yet, but it's on the list. It's on the, okay. Uh, all right, so workshops. Hmm gonna need that for okay let's get the workshop here the scrapsmith and then we'll get the desalinator after that that sounds good because i've never built a desalinator uh that sounds like it could be really efficient somebody was saying it's like one wood for three water instead of one to one or yeah two. you can you can get a lot of a lot of water with the desal okay so this one is two firewood for one water right now actually uh like two weeks for the launch, uh, we added we added the distiller. Actually, before that, it was only the solar still and the desalinator. And okay. Very last minute, we added the distiller, which is actually now the most used building at the start. So that's pretty funny. Um, yeah. Okay. Huh. Interesting. Um, 
Pandion asks, how do you get more metal scrap? It is, um, it's on these islands, it's on the landmarks. In fact, we should probably go to a different landmark because we are, I think it's kind of time maybe to go. Um, I want to build, I think I want to build that building first though. Can we build it? No, we need more metal. No, we need 16 metal. Okay, so let's go and find some metal scrap. Let's go to the world. We're going to go to the leaking water tower. Maybe that abandoned town will have some scrap. We'll see. And welcome everybody new to the stream. We're really glad to have you here. Um, and if you're new, we have uh, Yuda, who is one of the developers uh, on uh, the game Flotsam, which we're playing right now. And that's uh, Pajama Llama Games. So we're really excited to have you. Yay. Let's Thank see. you. And hello. <laughs> Charara says, if, if it's one for one, then the bird for sure doesn't get a house. <laughs> Still continue the, the seagull conversation from earlier. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, uh, we need to build another boat now that we can. Excellent. Let's go and build, uh, I think, another salvage boat. And let's see what we got here. We have a leaking water tower. Wow, 20 water. Let's go and get that immediately. We also have factory ruins. We'll get that uh, oil. Okay, and then we have something random who knows what building at the abandoned shack but it's gonna have research points we hope so all right let's go and follow uh who is this this it is will, uh, go ahead at least have one at least have one research point if it, if it has the icon at least one is in there so okay it's something yeah at the moment we have three research points which is not enough to buy anything but we're gonna go and get some stuff here oh salvaging some flotsam Let's see, our uh, Pandion, if you get one at a time, it'll take forever to make a house. No, you get um, the scrap you salvage is like they have like 35 at a landmark, something like that. Uh, it's quite a lot. Oh, I love this. Look at this leaky water tower. Isn't this not great? Oh, that's so awesome. Yep, gather in the water. Oh, I am Nick. Thank you so very much for the Prime subscription. That's much, much appreciated. Thank you. All right, let me just get you a cat train. Morar. Yay. <laughs> Poor Steven, so hated by Ashara. Yeah, so I didn't realize that your, your seagull had a name, and it's called Steven. That's so nice. Um, okay. Well, um, actually, none of them are called Steven. No? But all of them are called, um, uh, um, how do you say that? Um, a name that looks like Steve. Um, so the, ah. the original Seagull, the original mascot is called Steven Seagull after the famous actor C Steven Seagal. Ah, um, right. Okay, I get it. And all the other Seagulls have um, similar names like Stefan and Stephanie. And <laughs> Stephanie. That's cool. That's really cool. Stephen Siegel. Yes, I found one. I think the one I found was called Shechen or something. S Z C Z. Uh C H E N. It sounded very Polish. Well, I, I don't know if it's Polish, but my mom speaks Polish and they use a lot of S Z C Z's kind of things. That's really funny. We went pretty hard in the random generation of the Steven names. I think uh -huh. even uh, Esteban, Esteban is in there Esteban! Well. Oh, that's nice! Oh, that's cool. So you have it like in all languages. That's really neat. Okay, so this person is going... Yes. Probably to get... What? Ah, more water, more water. Good, good, good. Uh, so if anyone was wondering, that's why I left the uh, output on 40, even though we can hold 60 water, is in case we find these places that have free water for us. Uh, will I play Cube World as soon as it leaves closed beta? I don't know. Probably not. I've seen it played, but I, I'm not a fan of like the sound effects and stuff. It's, it's very um, high pitched. We'll just say it that way. But I haven't played it yet. I don't know. It could be. It could be. I don't know. It. We'll see. We'll see. If I get a code, maybe. Uh, but yeah, not not uh, not promising anything on Cube World. But apparently it's been worked on for a very long time by a single dev and he's a perfectionist and yeah, supposed to be uh, pretty interesting. 
Let's see, do I have any plans to play Evil Genius 2? I don't have any plans, but I might. Um, I haven't played the first one, but I do have it. Okay, let's see. We are getting... There's five water left in the water tower. And then I think we'll go to this abandoned shack and go and get stuff. I also want to set up a point for plastic gathering. Uh, this is a nice point since hopefully they're going back and forth. Oh, I had a question on AI. Wow, there's almost nothing in this area. I'm going to have to move on real quick. Um... Like, when a boat goes and gets something from a harvesting spot, like a buoy marker, and there's, like, one item left or three items left, could they go to another spot as well and pick up stuff from the next spot? Um, currently, I don't think they do that, but uh, that might be planned. Uh, I'm gonna just shout Brian in the chat and maybe he can... Also, um, I think your people are, are waving at you again. Yeah, they were waving. Yes, I noticed that. <laughs> They're like, I forgot to turn the firewood back on after I made that room. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. No, I need more firewood. <laughs> oh, man. So, let's see. Oh, and it's Shara. <laughs> hey, Steve, the fish cooker seems jammed. Would you mind jumping in and checking it out? Mm -hmm. For me? But no, of course I don't plan on lighting the fire while you're in there. Uh-huh. Yes. You, you really don't like the poor seagull, no. <laughs> what do you call a Cardassian in command of a sailing ship? Is that a joke? As Sagacious said, I want to hear the answer to this. Ah, oh, sounds good, Pandian. I'll check it out. Can you send me actually a message on uh, Discord to remind me, please? Like a PM or a tag in the main whatever? Yeah. That would be cool, because I'll forget about it. I know I will. Let's see. Um, all right, so all of these are complete. It's done already? We got seven cans of food and three wet, uh, dry wood and ten research points. Ah, oh, but we're still too short of the desalinator. All right, that's okay, though. It'll be fine. Um, we need also some, some scrap metal to get that working as well. Thank you so much, Pandya. Let's see. Um, okay, tech... So Llama Brian is answering the question, collecting from multiple markers is a bit of a technical hassle with the way they've got it. We've got it set up. We're looking to rework it a little bit, so it might be possible in the future, but not sure. Okay, cool. I just thought I'd ask because I always am like, if I see like there's a marker with one item left, like this one had 61 plastic, I'm like, mm, let's cancel it before they just make one boat trip to get one piece. A seagull sagacious says, ah, yes, a gull ducat. Yeah, jeez. Commanding the vessel. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. That's horrible. <laughs> uh, Chromax, yes, I played Planet Zoo uh, two days ago. It's still on my Twitch VODs. I was actually going to publish the video today on YouTube. And I probably will do a, a, a video series as well. Okay. Zoo looks, uh, it looks really good. The oh, animal looks... animations are really great. Um, the one thing that I don't really like is the whole you should log in every day to get free points, like currency in the game, and it's. And then you buy animals from other people, and we found that the system for buying is uh, was not ideal. There was like some connection issues and stuff, but otherwise it looks really fun. I played Planet Coaster, and that's like super customizable. So I'm hoping oh, Planet Zoo will deliver. Yeah. I haven't uh, played Planet Zoo yet. I, mean, uh -huh. were, I was a bit busy. Oh, <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> you, you were a bit busy. You don't say. <laughs> <laughs> that's really. It, cool. it, it, is on, it is on my radar. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, offline sandbox mode. I, I'm not worried about the online Chromags. It's more like the um, the whole you should log in every day, like an MMO. I I'm not like I like I play one MMO at a time. I don't need like a billion of them. I would I just wish there were better ways of getting that currency. I guess. Okay, let's see. The Aquaholic Catch. What a funny name for this boat. What's this one called? The Noah's floater. I think I promised to rename one of these to the Tentacle Maiden. So I will. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Um, 
We have stuff, but we can't build much more. I guess we can build a couple of, uh, of beds for our people so that they're a little bit happier. So I'm going to go ahead and build a, a walkway this way if we can. Kind of like this way and we'll just have like a little residential area, maybe 24-ish. Yeah, there we go. And then get a couple of beds kind of aligned here. I'll have this one over here just for funsies. Now I'm kind of curious. I have like these some some open spaces. I'm just imagining like potted plants on their own little platform as well for decoration items <laughs> or statues made out of whale bone or tentacles or something like that. We actually had some uh, decoration buildings uh, enabled in the alpha, like uh, uh -huh. tree lamps. They they literally did nothing uh, gameplay wise, so we, we removed them just in case. No, but it doesn't have to. It's it's part of like customizing the city, I think. Like as long as they don't have to water the plants, <laughs> that would be too annoying, I think. But I wouldn't mind some like to just just decorations that do absolutely nothing but like make it look more cozy, you know. Yeah, I'll see I'll, you later on. I, I get it. Um. I, I I think like oxygen not included. I had like a nice system where they. Like, oh yeah. Like, like, they improve nice the mood. In the, in the yeah. Yeah. So um, maybe then because uh, right now we only have like boy lamp and uh, yeah. Oh, lamps. That sounds very much like you're gonna have darkness. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> I could put we, a lamp have, right um, there. Uh huh. We have been uh, experimenting with day night a lot actually, but Ooh. every time it. it, it the issue is that um, visually it's very hard to create, so we put we push it back a bit in development. Mm -hmm. um, I think I can, if I dig really deep, I can actually find a very very old screenshot or, or of what our first test was. Um, I, I can dig deep. I'll, I'll I'll quickly go find it. That sounds awesome. We would love to see that. I know we've had many many questions yesterday and today about day and night. I do love the daytime. I have to say, just the turquoise blue of the water is, is just incredible. It's so beautiful. Um, Thank but you. night could be fun. Yeah. We've actually been um, collecting all of the development, uh, early development, like back when we started. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I think we started posting there in 2015 on a, a forum called uh, TIG Source or Tick Source. Uh -huh. um, so if you want to see really, really old things, um, you can all see it there because we still have it on there. Oh, wow. That's cool. Okay. Um, Asharara says, not sure if it's a stream, but I do say there's a few performance issues. The better, bigger the city is. Um, it's not just the bigness of the city. I think it, it does skip from time to time. Um, I'm not sure... It, what it is but it's probably just because it's early in development we're still in what is it alpha or beta right now i guess alpha right um we were in closed alpha and now it's early access we call it early access but early i guess access. it's a, a, okay. an open open alpha i guess so yeah open alpha okay. slash early access. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so the game is very, very much under development. So, um, yeah, but sometimes you'll see as I'm zooming out slightly and then it goes way out. That's that's part of that effect that, that you're seeing. So, oh, I'm going to click that TIG source link. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's fun. And I love the illustrations, just like the title uh, illustrations. That's so good. We, we've yet to update, um, like, the... The last few weeks, uh, we started uh, using MP4s uh, for sharing stuff online and sharing it in the Discord. Um, and TIG doesn't handle uh, MP4s very well, so we've been mm -hmm. not sharing too much of the uh, of the uh, development uh, in that regard. But the, all the first all the first weeks and, and days are on there. So yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's really fun for me to see like how games kind of grow and develop with Good like the 13 hfc oh thank you crimson jade for the five months of subscription thank you thank you very very much let me just get some cat train in the chat for you yay awesome thank you uh oh wow nighttime test there it is holy fuzzy cats that's gorgeous is that an actual in-game shot 
Yes. Wow. It, it, I mean, it looks like it's just like hand-drawn, like an illustration rather than in-game footage. That is so cool. That really looks amazing. I love it. Thank oh. You. Yeah, the, I, I can see the timestamp on the, the image. It's from June 29, 2015. So that's, uh, that's quite 2015. a 2015! Wow! Wow. Holy fuzzy gas. That's great. Oh, that's nice. Wow. <laughs> that's and like the colors are still there. I mean you have the, the 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 turquoise around the light lighted source and then it kinda goes into that deeper, more cobalty blue and and wow. Just wow, that's beautiful. Man. I think okay. the, the the skybox for the night has been made since then. Uh, mm -hmm. we've adjusted it a couple of times and made tests. Uh the biggest, biggest issue of them all is actually getting the fog to look nice. Ah. Um, but as we, we steered away, like uh, back in the day when you, you actually move your town, like uh, real time, so you build uh -huh. a sail and the wind is affecting it and then you move around with it. Um, but that was not relaxing at all, uh, just putting it out there. Uh, we definitely want to experiment more with that. But, um, uh, when we had that, uh, we needed the fog to, to like give a... How do you say that? Like, uh, show the player what the edge is. Uh, if you go away and you, your drifters get lost in the fog, they will never return. <gasps> so that's no! Wow. Uh, that's the addition of the fog. But right now, it's just it's it's marking the end of the zone. Mm -hmm. um, but we're looking at actually removing it, maybe, possibly, or, or um, making it very okay. different. Because I feel like it, it, the, the the open ocean is so big, and then we 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 put a strain on it by adding the fog there like it's it's suddenly it's a small zone that you're in and while yeah. it's not and the ocean is it's infinite really. yeah and so yeah that makes sense yeah i found the fog kind of i mean as a gamer it's like okay this is the boundary i can't go beyond this but it looks kind of weird um i was yeah, kind of like um, eh. yeah 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 I'm, but... I'm not a huge fan as well it's hard to get it right actually like the, mm -hmm. the tricks we had to do to get it to feel okay is already a lot of work and um because we we we, we removed the the moving system i guess uh is um or delayed or removed um actually opens up uh trying to make that pretty pretty again so that'll be uh, uh in the future but it's not high priority right now mm -hmm. oh no <laughs> what don't, don't I, use experimental camera. Don't use experimental <laughs> camera. I was promised by Pajama Stan in chat that it could get me closer to people. Oh. Stan. Like this? Oh, we can see people. Oh, wow, we can see alarm clocks. Hello, things. I'll turn it off after this. Look at this. Oh, cute. Well, I'm quite all right with it. I, I, um, I really don't like the experimental camera in the way that it's and very hard to use for newer players but uh -huh. um, zooming in this far zooming in this far is pretty fun though well it is hard we could actually walk like with our people oh this is so cool you feel like you're actually on the deck it's a little bit the turning is a bit weird turning radius seems to be uh interesting it's very, uh, <laughs> finicky. very finicky yes that's a good way of putting it i want to see What's in my storage here? Oh, no people. Wow, this is so cool. I can just see them chucking all the stuff in the town heart. Yeah, <laughs> and we, I'm we, obviously, huh? Sorry? No, no, sorry. Um, like, we're really not, um... Like, it, we're, we're, it's a bit unfortunate that you cannot, from a distance, see how full your, your, your main storage is, your town heart storage. So yeah. we're looking into... Oops. Improving that. Um, okay. It's uh, it's uh, an issue that we first made the town hard and then storage uh, stuff. So yeah. But, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice it until you actually said something. I thought, oh, it's just a random thing that's uh, there. And since I, you know, the funny thing is, I think the default view is like this way, where the water bottle is in front. If you could make the storage and the water bottle visible from the same side. That would be helpful because right now they're literally on opposite sides. The, so you have to choose a view. 
Oopsie. The water wow. bo bottle is actually, uh, it's actually a placeholder. Um, oh. We just never had the time to remove it. Um, yeah, it, it was added there. It's actually a part of the small water storage that you can build. Uh -huh. um, and the, okay, the little thing you see where it's in, it's actually had a nice red little roof. And it was used to, to give like an, in, an indication that it's for water there. But okay. uh, now, now you can actually see how much water you have, like if it's not, if it's much or not. Uh, okay. but we're, again, we're, we're looking into making that even more clear from like, if you zoom out very far, uh -huh. you really want a couple of things to be clear. And one of them is yeah. how much water, water you have. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I personally love the water bottle graphic. I think it's like kind of one of these goofy, strange little things. And it, it's very fitting with the art style and just kind of the the cartooniness of the game. So I, I, I would put my vote in favor of keeping that, but it's it's really neat. Oh my God, we're still running out of fish. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to move on soon or get another fishing boat. I can, uh, I can guarantee you that the, the replacement we're gonna make is gonna be, uh, it's gonna be, uh, even pretty better. as well yeah oh cool that sounds great yeah and i do like that it's you know like like you said you can see how much is there yeah and i think i think you're right about the storage that it would be nice to see how much is in the town heart or have a an indicator of like the fullness of how much is there um because you have to click on it almost all the time just to see is it full or is it not so yeah, yeah exactly. i completely agree I with personally, you there. Uh... I personally play with the, the inventory always open, like if you open the, the global oh. storage. Uh, oh, right, I, yeah. I really, That's I really want to, to work towards not doing that. Okay. You know, I that's one thing I like about Oxygen Not Included is the whole, uh, you know, the, the icon system where it shows you how much you have of everything in the game. I think that's kind of cool. Um, but this also, I think in this game you have less of stuff or less different items. So, um, yeah. Yeah, um, fun fact, at the start we actually had too many uh, different items. Too many? <laughs> wow. But we, nice, uh, we nicely bottlenecked that a bit in the, the wooden plastic being in the ocean and then the metal in the, the landmarks and then everything the rest is like crafted or special. I so. mm -hmm. uh, had a question from chat. Uh, let's see. Will you go? Will you have console versions? Um. Um. What can I say? Um. So um, we're we're in early access right now. So for the full early access period, we are not looking at consoles. Uh, if it's going good, uh, we will definitely look at it after that. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see. Spiegel's asking, what is this about? This is a game oh. where you start out with just the lighthouse and our cities have been flooded. There's just these random small landmarks where there's sometimes people leaving, sometimes resources are there. Um, basically, we're just trying to survive on the ocean. So it's, it's basically a city colony builder um, with a kind of an ocean theme to it. And what did you call it? Some like... Uh, a happy post-apocalyptic environment or something, <laughs> a relaxed post-apocalypse. I forget what the modifier you used was, but it was really funny. <laughs> yeah, we coined the phrase uh, a feel-good apocalypse. for uh, Feel-good apocalypse, that's it. I need to write that down. Oh, that's so good. Feel-good apocalypse. There we go. Um, let's see. Um... Major Muffin, I, I I enabled the advanced experimental camera and then I went downward with the level like this. And then I just moved forward with the arrow keys. That's how you get this close. Oh, okay. And let's see. Are there plans to incorporate a first person mode, take over a sim and walk around? Um, one of the coders uh, really, really really wants to add that uh, but he knows that it's not priority right now uh, but maybe one day he's going to come to work and say i did it so uh let's hope okay <laughs> i think i need to go to a different island because we're really running out of fish let's see let's go to the map real quick and i'll, g I'll go, go back to chat and answer and look at the rest of the questions here okay so we have should we get the seagull nest um with an animal or should we get villagers does anybody in um, chat have a preference or do you have a preference? A quick heads up. Um, well, you can show like you, you can show seagulls, but a quick heads up. We did notice that there's a bug with the seagulls that we are 
uh, uh, Brian is right now working on fixing it uh, behind wow. me. Um, it's, so your game might bug out if you go for the seagull, but um, oh, it is. Ma it is Major showing. Major Ruffin it. says Mage makes your fishing spots disappear. That could be kind of inconvenient. So, okay, let's go for the villagers. <laughs> we'll just be safe with this. And as you see, we are using some oil to get to the next place because um, we can't sail straight through these rocks. The wind direction is going to the right, to the east. Um, so we have to use oil to get down here. Just be aware when you're moving the, that you are limited uh, to the oil. And we only have three cans of that so far. So let's go down there and pick up those villagers here. Okay, so here we are. We're in a new place. I want to get my fish going first, and then we'll check out the landmarks. Let's see. Fish, where are you? You can actually still go for seagulls uh, in a couple of tiles further down. I think you can help get a seagull. Okay. Um, maybe if we get there, Brian can guide you into avoiding the bug, maybe? because we can't. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we can do yeah. that then. That sounds fine. Okay, wow, only two fishing spots. Wow, this is going to be a quick trip. Uh, I don't see any other any other fish. No. All right. Well, that's okay. We have two. Um, um, did I build the other fishing the fish boat? I don't think I did. I'm sorry? The fish appear when you uh, enter the tile, so you might not see them at the first couple of seconds. So maybe um, okay, I have... you start it, but you can, you can do a, a quick round. Okay. Okay. So I've been... It's on play. Oopsies. There we go. There we're back on play it again. So I found this one. Let's see if there's any others. So lovely that the whole jumping around, that's so funny. I like that. Um I saw the question of exotic joystick. Um yeah, again, like the 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 motor, uh, like the oil ID, the the motor ID is added uh after we made the town heart. Uh so again, we're going to like redesign it, make sure you see the storage, make sure you see the water and uh, it might have a nice little uh propeller, who knows, you know. Ooh, nice. Okay, I want to get some of this plastic as well. There we go. Oh, and I, I'm hearing the hungry grumbling sounds. No, we need fish. All right, All right so we're so building. Go ahead. Brian came, Brian came back and said, um, do not enable salvaging and fishing for the seagull, and then he will only haul and he will still work. Okay, uh, okay, if you that makes enable, sense. If, if you enable salvaging and fishing, they might... Um, Break your game. <laughs> oh my We're goodness. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll go and see if we can get a seagull uh, later. So for now, let's go and see who we have. Oh, we have Cle Clementine. <laughs> Jeez. Clementine Shark Bait Conch Bottom. Well then, what a name. <laughs> <laughs> Ripple fish bait trout fish. I love the names. I I feel so bad for my Patreons because I I I have this name in game bonus thing um, for people who pledge ten dollars or more a month. But man, I just you know so that I can change the names for them in the game to have their names. But I have to say I absolutely love the names of the people you put in this game. I mean conch bottom does anybody know what a conch shell looks like like it is you wouldn't want to have a conch bottom i guarantee it it's it'd be painful to sit down <laughs> oh my god what a heroic name <laughs> Jeez. Well, if you, uh, if you oh want to change <laughs> and ashara russ told you she oh jeez oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> but you can change their names yeah so you can um but i i love I... Yo. <laughs> you can Yo. only uh change their uh, change their nickname actually their so nickname you... okay so i can change the shark bait part of her name i guess the, the middle name that she has so, okay <laughs> so conch bottom conch bottom trout face was it and trout face we'll, we'll and trout face <laughs> They have the most unfortunate names for people. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Wow, Major uh, Muffin, almost a 200 food. Whoop whoop. Excellent. Wow. Okay, I don't have that much food right now. I need to make more thing probably. To, uh, to know is that actually all the names uh, we got um, with the help of the community actually, but very, very long ago, even before we did the alpha, we had a sign up form where people uh -huh. could give in names and uh, all of them, uh, well, I, I guess 80% of them are suggestions from the community. 
Oh wow, um, that's cool. Yeah, we're definitely looking at doing doing that again because that that was mm -hmm. really cool. That sounds fun. I didn't know if you had them like in a random name generator, like they could be conch face or conch bottom or conch arms or something like that as well, or or if it was um, just like certain things. There, there is some ran random generation, but I think conch bottom is a full, uh, full. <laughs> that name, oh my god, it's so funny. I said we have uh, somebody's in chat saying we have people with bottles in their hair. Yes, oh my gosh, she does look like she has bottles in her hair. That's so funny. Oh yes, yesterday we had a lot of fish-haired people. Um, in house, I called the, the bottled hair. Uh, Amy Winehouse hair, but it's actually a wine <laughs> bottle, so... <laughs> they do kind of look like that, I have to say. <laughs> Alright, let's see what their oh. skills are. You are moist. <clears throat> and, oh, we have another torpedo! Yay! Fishbait is a torpedo person! Alright, so we're gonna make you, again, a hauler, and then builder. Uh, and I think that's good. I'm gonna make the other person a hauler. And then boat person. Then you can do like cooking and stuff. Yeah, boat, boats are good. Okay, fantastic. Let's see what's on these other islands that we have. We don't have that much food. I'm kind of actually worried about this. Um, let's make this a fish drying rack. Did I get plastic? Yeah, I did. Okay, so I've got one boat getting plastic right now. Yay, they're salvaging this stuff. See. Okay, Llama Brian says, I heard you guys talking about the town names in the beginning, by the way. Just wanted to clarify that the town names are semi-random. We have a list of prefixes and suffixes and we mesh those together. Oh, that's great. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't I sure know. about that. I, I found lots of Kraken names and I was kind of going for one. <laughs> I learned something about my own game today. I oh, you know. did? Oh, do tell. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know it was suffix and prefix. I, I figured oh. Stan just had a very, very long list, so it's pretty huh. that I'm a suffix. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to put another storage sure. here, I think. So we can get that seaweed going, because I think we we have seaweed on this thing. So, oh, um, I think it was... Who was asking? It was, was it you, Pandion, asking about the... The metal scrap it comes like in chunks of like 25 or 35 so it's you get quite a lot yes what's in our tentacles <laughs> tentacles are nice they're they're very useful i mean they're very decorative oh here we go oh my god we got 32 scrap holy fuzzy cats let's get that stuff immediately i'm also i think i'll also open this up to seaweed oh we can't yet okay so that's something that might be a suggestion I kind of want to see all the materials so that I can plan ahead, like even before I get them. But right now we have a seaweed um, landmark and I can't mark this for seaweed yet because I don't actually have it. So it's like I have to kind of I would have to be like watching for the boat to get stuff before I can mark that storage for seaweed. Oh, all the little beds. Oh, we need more beds. Aha. Yes. Put maybe some at the, the front here. There we go. Oh, lots of building going on. This is great. All right. Oh, more fish is coming in. The major catch. funny <laughs> oh boy all oh, the puns are real okay so what are we getting here oh yeah here's we're getting oh this is this i love this viaduct it's so funny because it's got these cars honking their horns still oh yeah and here's where we could find those candy bars underneath the car seats <laughs> Um, a while ago, the cars actually floated in the water, and you uh -huh. could get uh, metal out of the water. Ooh. Um, but Stan really pushed against that for a couple of years, and now he's really, really happy that uh, metal doesn't float anymore. 
Metal doesn't float anymore. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Look at this. They're actually disassembling these cars. That's really cool. I, I love that, when, that whenever, whole... Uh -huh. <laughs> thank you. Whenever we were uh, asked uh, why they float, we just said they had airbags, so... It's <laughs> a good joke. I like that. They had airbags. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> You know, it might, it, that might be a balancing thing that you could do. Because, like, if you come across many islands in the map and none of them have um, metal, maybe you could find, like, one floating car in the whole area of a place and it would give you, like, five metal or something. I don't know. Like, a tiny, tiny bit. But if you have those, you know, if the islands are too rare, the ones that have the metal on them... Um, I don't know, well, I don't know how rare they are, or if you guarantee them to pop up for people. But, you know, that could be a, uh, a thing where, you know, I don't know if it's, if people will get frustrated for lack of metal uh, or not. But. I think it's, um, we definitely want to tune the system more, that that doesn't happen, but before adding, like, a patchy system that mm -hmm. would make a, make a car spawn in the water, which is actually kind of the same, as in, I can just okay. spawn a landmark with, oh, true, a, with true. a metal on it. Uh -huh. um, nevertheless, I mean, it, it could happen that we do that because it's a very, very low amount of metal. But um, yeah. if we do that, it might be not a car, but like a ship because a ship can float. Uh, oh, shit. No, but I, the airbag joke. You have to keep the airbag joke. <laughs> <laughs> and Pajama Stance says we can add muscle cars again in the future. <laughs> muscle oh, yeah, spelled so that... as the sea creature, of course. <laughs> so the, the muscle cars. Wait, I have some. <laughs> Oh no, less than three. Yeah, we decided to, to take off the towel cam today. Welcome to the stream. Oh, what have we got now? Uh, some kind of a... Oh, the floating deep. cars with muscles. <laughs> That's great. Your, uh, old, wow. Old gifts of uh, the floating cars with the muscles on it. And the muscles actually like moved and they were alive. Um, oh, wow. That's cool. Those are awesome. Oh, these are neat. We, we don't have Kevin Costner, actually, but we do have, um, who is it? It's not Sammy. It's not, uh, no, no, Bobbington. We have Ebby Costner right here. Yay. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> okay, so we're getting some food, but I'm kind of concerned. I'm like, huh, we're not really getting a lot of food. We have only one fish spot left. I think we're going to have to move from this place. Get some proper food going on. We may have to buy a, a building that actually cooks the food first. Um, what do we have over here? We've got an abandoned town, and then there's a water place. Or we have the factory oil. Oh, there's a... Oh, we can get the seagull here. I guess we'll have to go for water next and then get the seagull. Because I do want to get the seagull and just show people uh, how that works. That would be kind of nice. All right, what have we got? Any more? How much fish do we have? Ten. Okay. I do want to get the rest of this metal. Look at this. He's completely dis deconstructing all these cars. This is great. And then we'll be able to build our metal workshop as well. Yeah, so like the... Like I said, that the, the bookcases get uh, deconstructed in the water. Uh -huh. uh, the cars used to float in the water and get deconstructed that way as well. <laughs> uh, right now, we just put them on the, the viaduct. And the, the viaduct. Uh, it's the same system, it's yeah. It's a really cool scene because it starts off with this empty pillar where clearly the stuff has fallen off. Big jam of cars and it goes straight back on down into the water and you can see it like leaping off this rock here. And then there's more stuff, you know, you can tell it's it's human made because it's like square things, you know, fish build in the round usually. But like there's other stuff down here as well. Oh, this is a boat that sunk. Nice. But sometimes there's like city city blocks as well under the water and it's just like this yeah. it's really immersive because you can just see the layers in the game. It's not just like, oh yes, blue sea, completely opaque, you know? You can actually see underneath. It's like, oh wow, this really is a drowned world. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You can see the old world. <laughs> yeah. Um How do I say this? Like um but I uh I used to have a I, I made a viaduct back um i think it's like four years ago now uh -huh. and i really i was displeased in how I, how it turned out like visually uh -huh. and 
I, uh, I constantly tried to push it out of the project and not make it being used because I, re really? I really did, really oh. did not like it. So I okay. read it, I read it, it all, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's the viaduct you see right now. Uh, I was, I, 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 I did double work, I guess, which is really not good in development. But I mean, I really wanted Ooh, it to look, to look okay. So Ooh. now it looks like this, and I'm happy with it. It looks really great, I have to say. It's just so, I don't know, you, and you get the feeling of like probably these people were driving to work or from work and like this apocalypse just happened and then like, there's this huge jam of cars it's like what the heck happened here it's it definitely conveys the sense of like urgency and this was a sudden event and something happened because otherwise they'd be at home having their life preservers or something you know what i mean so um i i like that storytelling part of this as well it's it's really effective. I'm I'm glad you did the double work. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna okay, two pieces left. Okay, so that car, this is worth two pieces of metal, just for future reference, everyone. <laughs> yes, the experimental camera is still on. I, I haven't turned it off just yet. It's so good. I'm really enjoying wow. like spying on people. You think I should turn it off? <laughs> no, no, that's okay. You can use it. It's so fun. Look at all the, the seaweed here. This is nice. Oh, the seaweed ended up in random areas. That's, that's okay. <laughs> oh, and everyone who's new, welcome to the stream, by the way. I can't say hi to everyone because I really want to focus on uh, talking to uh, Yuda, who is one of the developers of the game here. And uh, yeah, we're looking. Oh, wait, I'm looking at the beds that have a llama in pajamas right on the bed. It's so adorable. Very cute. Everybody's got their own llama to cuddle at night. Hello. <laughs> Whenever he's not talking, he's shaking his fist in the air at the office. <laughs> That's so funny. Is that true? Do you do that? <laughs> I can neither deny or confirm. <laughs> Rough times for us. Oh my goodness. We have answers, questions that are unanswered so far. <laughs> oh, hey there, Pepper Boy. Um, so yeah, okay. So we have not very many fish. I th ah, should we get those last pieces of scrap? I think we need them. Oh gosh, the, the, the tummy gurgling sound is rough. Okay, somebody's coming and getting this last piece of scrap. I do like that you can like sail to other locations when the boats are not completely docked. Yet, that's quite handy. Very handy. Yeah, we were thinking of adding a system that all drifters have to be in the town before you can move, but uh, uh -huh. it wasn't required, so... I feel like it's good because they can... They just leave at random times and there's no real way to stop them other than, like, sort of cancelling everything and, uh, you know, removing yeah. all the boys and yeah. stuff like that. We we had a system that there was like a, bell, a little bell and you you rang the town bell and then everyone came to the town. Ah. Um, still, still though, it I, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Why? Why is this person swimming here? That is very interesting. <laughs> this is way far away from the town. He, you know what? Who is this? Hello. This is Ebby. You know what? This is Ebby Scally Costner. She has gills. It's fine. <laughs> she can clearly swim way outside the area. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so, uh, Stan and uh, Brian are. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so they're turning their backs. Um, I think we found a tiny bug, but it's it's fine. It's she's she has the gills. I mean, you know, she's part of the water world thing. You know, it's fine. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a that's a new bug. We haven't we have not seen that one. Oh, before. not only this. Look at this. She's going to sleep with the uh, with her stuff. She didn't even oh, wow, bother okay. to empty it. <laughs> she's just uh, ignoring all the rules. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh my god, that's quite so. Oh, that's so cute. That's neat. Oh, well, she's devoted to her work. Let's see. Is she actually carrying stuff? Hey. Hey. Yes, yes. Yeah, she, she is. Uh... She has five plastic. Good for you, Sally. Good for you. 
<laughs> Alright, I want to go, let's go to another, um, the next place where hopefully we can find some wood. Uh, we want to go this way so we can get this gull over here, I think. Alright, go to the water tower. It requires one oil, we only have one oil left. Okay, it'll be fine. Alright, let's see what this world brings us. Let's check on Scally. She's she's still here. She's twiddling her thumbs, so she's not she's not putting stuff away, so I think she's a bit bugged at the moment. <laughs> wait, wait. Is, is there inventory space? Is there mm, yes. Yeah, there is. There is. Yeah, there's mm. uh, 50 inventory space in the town heart and other I think other places maybe too, or maybe not. I don't know. Oh, wow. But there is space. <laughs> Oh, Llama Brian oh. says, I feel she might be bugged now. She can be the town mascot. Yes! She just embodies everything about our town. She's like going to the limits, going outside the circle of swimming, just making it. All right, great. <laughs> I think a good thing about her not delivering anything is probably that she will not die either. So she can be the infinite mascot. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's go and check fish. We desperately need fish at the moment and possibly some wood. I'm going to have people gather that water. Actually, I don't want them to gather the water just yet. Or maybe they can just gather the uh, stuff here as well, the wood. There we go. Fish. I feel like I've set you off on a, a, a water gathering uh, path in the map and we're going for the desalinator, so we'll have a lot of water. <laughs> God. Oh yes, stay hydrated bot has failed me. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Vote to Abby Costner 2020. Oh jeez. <laughs> she might win over here on our on our beautiful little um floating island place. I think I need to make Oh dear. Okay, that was an interesting. Sorry? Where did she go? Where did she go? Let's see. Let's find her. She's still... Oh, Scally, right? Eight. Yep, eight. Okay, she's doing stuff. Oh no, she cleared her inventory. She's now delivering stuff. That's nice. Yeah. Well, wow. She's back. She's back. Woohoo. No more rebel. <laughs> no more rebel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so... Let's go and... Yeah, we desperately mm. need these fish. Okay, maybe we don't want to hunt the whale because the whale probably could take us down. We're not going to... We're not going to mess afraid, with that whale. Um, <laughs> I'm afraid Scally is still a rebel. <laughs> she's a... She is? She's a... She's um. How do I say this? Um, messing with the town. She's she's delivered plastic to the wood, woodworking. Oh, <gasps> no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, geez. Okay. We got to keep an eye on Scally then. We have to figure out what's going on with her. That's weird. I wonder if she went here to gather stuff from the shed and she just emptied her inventory that she slept that she slept in the bed with. Maybe that's what happened with her. That's really interesting. Well, there she is. Just traipsing along, having a good time. Life is good being I a mean Scally. Oopsies. Brian looks really, really happy to see that this is what's causing the bug, but um, the run might be destroyed. That's okay. I hope, fine. I hope, not. I hope not. Ah, it's fine. We're, we're good. We're, we're going to get a seagull soon. It's just fine. I, it'll be fine. <laughs> we have an icon for that. We have an emoticon. It will be fine. There we go. Can we see some... It's, it will be fine in chat, please. That would be help, very, very helpful. Oh my gosh, I forgot to say thank you very much to two men in a horse costume. I hope you're still here. Thank you so very much for the subscription. I completely... I heard the ding and I forgot to say thank you very, very much for that. <laughs> okay, we're getting lots of it'll be... See, it will be fine. Everybody agrees. It's a thing. It's just fine. Ah. <laughs> oh. That, that's kind of a catchphrase that I have, and um, it's very comforting, you know? Um, oh gosh, the uh, the camera is um, is interesting with this experimental mode on, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I warned you. <laughs> yeah, you did warn me, yes. that That is fair, that is very fair. Let's go... Hmm. So, I'm trying so to think of like... Scally up to, let's follow Scally. You want to follow Scally? Okay, let's see. Let's just follow her. 
So we have like real time footage of what happened. I'm glad we caught her like um, yeah, yeah. doing the whole like very... fishing out of bounds thing. Um, I'll, I'll show the priorities. She's got two on building and she's one of our fisher people. Okay, so she's supposed to go out fishing in the fishing boat as her normal she's duties. She's a rebel. She's a rebel. <laughs> oh yes. She was getting plastic. She is a rebel. Man. <laughs> I don't know. She's so funny. Okay, still, but she's, she's hauling. That's good. We have fish drying, hopefully, soon. Okay. Well, she seems to be back in line. Yeah, she seems to be yeah. doing stuff, so that's good. Well, only one food, yes. It's rough times here. Not good here. Oh, whoops, I forgot the f <laughs> feel good apocalypse. I typed it in chat just temporarily. Whoops. And now it's up on the uh, on chat. Oh dear. Smeagol, wow, thank you so much for the 300 bits. Much, much appreciated. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, let me get you a cat trade. Woohoo! Oh, we have something finished. What did we get finished? Let's see. What did I build? Oh, um... No, I didn't build a storage. I built must have built something. Oh, no, this finished. Okay, the water tower was um, finished. All right, let's go and get... We're going to get the salvage from there. I also want to build the metal shed. Because at the moment, we only have one water maker. So um, it would be good to get the other one going. What do we need for this? We need wood. Okay. So we're getting some... Some wood from the marker somewhere. Here it is. Okay, good, good. Oh, I forgot to send my cat train. Yay. There we go. Welcome everybody who's just come to the stream. We are playing Flotsam, a uh, city builder on the ocean. Oh my goodness! Lexine! Wow! Holy fuzzy cats! Thank you so very much for the hundred bits. I mentioned stickers in West Texas and it brought me back to my youth. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I don't know anybody. I don't I've never lived in a place where they they call them that. Uh but but in West Texas. So thank you so much for that. <laughs> That's great. Uh okay. Oh, what do we Oh, this is the water bottles. Hey, we could use those in storage. Nice. That's quite cool. We uh, we actually want to add like a system that um, liquids have to be transported differently, so, like water uh -huh. and stuff. Um, okay. There was no time no time anymore to add that before the release, so I quickly made us water bottles to to have. I like. Uh, They're trade. very cool. They look good. Like I could immediately tell from far away what they were. I didn't even have to look. It was really great. They're Thank fun. Thank you. I did some some really. Uh, Let's zoom in. Un un unconventional 3D tricks to get it to look <laughs> like that. There's no transparency involved, actually. Yeah. Cool. Those are really great. I like them. Oh, Lexane, I used to live in Midland. That's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so fish is happening. I'm thinking we may need more fish drying racks, maybe. Or maybe just more drying racks in general. I'm thinking I should. Oh, expand this area a little bit. Oh, we can build our scrapsmith. Yes. Okay, that's going up. That's a fun building to watch being built as well. Let's see. I'm going to take yeah. this. I think, we'll I think just it was Brian. That Brian came up to me, um, I think, like two days before the launch and said, like, um, Judah, did you not add building states for the scrapsmith? <laughs> so, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. So yeah. Is this the t a tiny building there? Um, that is so is, cute. It's, <laughs> it's teeny tiny. Oh my god, that's adorable. Aww. <laughs> that's so cute. I guess that function as the kind of like icon hover over thingy majingy for aww. It's tiny. It's like a dollhouse scrapsmith to make extra small screws for like computers and stuff. Aww. I like um, it. <laughs> match muffin or ma my muffin? I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, it uh, could be my muffin. Yeah. Yes. It's it's actually 
three flip normal uh, meshes uh, inside the water to really give like a, a bottle feel. Um, high poly count, but uh, only one texture and a very atlas, so it's pretty good on performance. I love the sounds. Man, they sound so good. I noticed something on the research menu, the little... Let's go out somewhere where there's no sound. The little droplet sound when you click on the researches. It's so nice! <laughs> it's great. I love all the little tiny touches in the game. They're so good. Really, I, I can't... I probably can't say that enough. It's really, really nice to, like, play a game that feels so... I don't know, feels so fun and, and relaxing like this. Yeah, um, a big shout out to like uh, the mute. They they handle all the sound effects of uh, our game, and um, uh -huh. they've been adding most of them actually pretty uh, recently, and they're all really good. And yeah, I mean, more to come. Ooh, nice! Oh, here we are getting stuff. And now every time I see anybody with a bottle hairdo, I'm thinking like Amy Winehouse hairdo. <laughs> oh my god. Goodness me. Just one second. I like how with the not having building states for this craftsman, they're just like throwing things into the water. Ah, uh, you don't. <laughs> yeah like chucking it in there okay huh yeah there it goes it just gets eaten by the water yay let me check on our fish we have one fish marker left wow this place doesn't have a lot of fish either that is really not ideal did we get this yet? We got some of the scrap. It's nice to have the scrap because it's pretty rare on the maps here. Do I see any more fish? Searching for fish. I kind of mm. want to get that seagull and then... Um... Okay. Let's see. Be right back. I'm gonna get some water. Okay. Okay, I just have to send one tiny message. Um, please be patient. Furious typing comes from the keyboard of the Catherine of Sky. Oh, yes. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> okay, so we're getting this walkway do going, and I'm thinking of putting, like, more storage. Maybe having some arms of the walkway coming off, like, this this way here to put maybe more drying racks and stuff. Uh, people, we need, we, we need fish. Hello. <laughs> do the fish, please. There we go. Oh, they're doing well. Look at this. They're all... I, this is so funny to me. So this is a question for, for any pajama people who are in chat. Why do they go out here? Is this a, like the... It's kind of like the duck painting himself into the corner thing where they like go out and then build to the, you know, here instead of starting here and building there. <laughs> This is to, to me, this is so comical that they'd rather swim here and build that way than build from here and go there. It's just like so goofy. All right, getting more materials and supplies here. Looking good. I think we just got, was that the scrap? No, that was not the scrap one. Who's getting scrap? What did they get in this boat? Did they just get nothing? Uh huh. Where are you going? You are going. Hey, hey! Hey! I love also that like they tell you where they're going with the lines. You can see their destination. It's kind of neat. 
Okay, here we have this one. Okay, you're going to get the metal. Good, good, good. And here we have our scrapsmith. Oh no, I forgot to watch it get built. Darn it. There we go. Um, and we can make the stuff. We don't actually need it yet. So we're not going to queue anything, but we can actually make things now. I think I'll put another storage space right here. Uh, because we're going to need more firewood eventually for other stuff, but apparently we don't have plastic. Oh dear. We need to get plastic. So I will... Let's see. How much fish do we have left? <laughs> like, the world depends on how much fish is there. 15 fish. Okay, can we make a plastic run real quick, folks? Maybe. I'm back. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Thank I, you. Uh, did you get the message I sent, by the way? The message I did On not. Discord. Okay. okay. It's just a tiny, tiny, tiny thing. Yeah, seaweed um, in sushi is really great. I completely agree, uh, my muffin. Yes. Very, very good stuff. It's one food value for... Um, it's Oh, wait. Not this. Not this. Research. Hello. There we go. <clears throat> food truck. Yeah, you, you use... Let's see. For everyone. Uh, seaweed plus fish equals three sushi. And those have a nutritional value of one. So you get, like, really good value out of that, I think. There we go. And all right, here we go. Oh no, the hunger is rising. No. Fish, hello. You're here, hello, there's five Tom. fish left. Okay, so I'm thinking we should, maybe we should even go to the next island. We have some wood here. They're not picking up. Ah, oh, plastic is coming, yay. Whoops. No, no, that's wood coming. No. All right, I'm going to cancel this one. Maybe we can get one thing of wood. I think we're getting some of this scrap. I think um, I'll... Hmm? A, ni a nice little shout at uh, Pizzon in the chat. He's uh, one of our interns. Uh, say hi. Hey, Pizzon, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're really happy to have you here. This is great. So, Pizzon, can you tell us what you worked on in the game? That would be awesome. Um, and Hermione asks, why do people build walkways out seemingly in reverse? <laughs> yeah, we were looking at that when while you were away. Um, you know how they build the pontoons in the middle? And then they build out from the pontoon back to the base. Is it just because they like swimming a lot? Um, yes, they like swimming. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I just find it really comical that they do this. What happened here? The boat is... Uh, uh huh? The boat oh is upside down. He's sleeping in the boat. What is going on here? This does not look comfortable to me. This looks really uncomfortable. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so, is this um, is that, that intended that behavior? Um, <laughs> no, but um, everything in the water is uh, is physics based, and uh -huh. if you click with your mouse, click with your mouse, you actually have force. So if you oh very rapidly click it, you might. I'm going to click on the end of the boat. Maybe the other end is better. Uh, oh, oh, he's made it over. Wow. Oh, my God. Jeez. Whoa. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I mean, he couldn't paddle underwater. I mean, he seemed to be breathing okay. He has gills, too, apparently. But <laughs> that was really funky. <laughs> oh, my God. Rescue yes, mission um... success, indeed. <laughs> wow. Okay, I didn't know I needed to watch for this kind of stuff. Do they do that out on islands, like where I can't see them? Uh, luckily, no. On the islands, uh, okay. they, uh, they should not <sighs> bug. Oh, Early good. access. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I, I, I didn't know if it was actually a bug or not, because it could have been legit. <laughs> could have been like, you must save your survivors. Oopsies. Camera thing. All right. No, oh. but we're we're very happy that we added the the force on the mouse click, so uh, <laughs> you can, uh, yeah, you can um, push drifters under the water or flip your. Ha! Huh. That's funny. Like you could really make their lives pretty bad if you kept putting them underwater. <laughs> That's so funky. I've never actually tried to click on a boat like 
with force or anything just to select stuff oh that's neat okay so we did get some plastic this is great i think we're gonna move on to the next island real quick go to the seagull nest and then we're gonna make sure that we make this seagull um bugless all right here we go moving along barnacles gate is opening up our doors to the seagull okay we're all uh we're all really big fans of like god games and uh -huh. in god games you can pick up characters and you know throw them around oh and yes while we we will not do that as that well that, that doesn't fit the game really we might do mm -hmm. it for like the boys boys or something like that oh, if we cool. have time or because it, it might not fit the game entirely so we might not add uh -huh. it but we 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 really like it so yeah. that sounds fun you know what I, I still have the fondest memories of any god game I think I have are of black and white. Did you play that one? I played it extensively. Oh uh, god, I love black and white. It's so good. I keep waiting for another black and white type game to come on the on the market. People to re reimagine that one into something really cool because I really enjoyed that one. I never uh, played black and white two. Um, I only played black and white one with the, the expansions mm -hmm. back in the day. Mm -hmm. um so i don't know how good two is but i i i understand what you mean like i really want a good good black and white i think i played it but i don't remember it i my memories are of black and white the first one it that was yeah, just yeah. so like i it felt like revolutionary to me that game yes. it was really yes, it was really so good. good yeah i remember never never wanting to move to the next zone so yeah. i had i had villages like with everywhere everywhere there were houses like <laughs> on the mountains and the only issue with that was that every little second of the game you heard uh, well it wasn't dutch so excuse me you heard like don't and it's like people dying it's like oh no yeah every second so i'd say oh yeah no. um, yeah I, I know the feels on that one that's for sure all right we are doing really well on water here um so let's go get our seagull Ah, oh, Stephen. <laughs> what an interesting spelling. Let's see if we can go rescue this little little guy. And then, oh, we have a shack town too. That's going to be nice to salvage. All right, let's see where we're going with this boat. I think the, the shack town will uh, allow you to build the cell. Oh, yes. Let's build that. Okay. Oh, there's... Oh, we're getting Stephen. Look. All right, I'm going to slow this down because I love the animations of like when they're hopping and walking. Here we go. Oh, he's sitting there. Just so happy. Oh, Don't forget okay. to um, Hello. uncheck his fishing and salvaging. Yes, I was just thinking about that. I just want to get a very close-up view of that cute seagull. Oh my god. Oh, whoops. Experimental camera. Isn't he adorable? Oh, the cuteness is real. Okay, I'm going to take a screenshot of this because he's so cute. Anyway, uh, all right. Let's disable that first. Not this. I don't know why I keep clicking the map when um, it's not there. Okay. Now, uh, Stefan, disabling salvaging and fishing. So everyone, there is a there is a fix uh, going to be pushed on, what do you say, Monday, I think? Um, Probably Monday, yes. We'll just have him do hauling. Uh, now, Stephen has different needs. He has to um, <laughs> he has to eat, but he doesn't have to drink. And he eats a lot, apparently. So do, do seagulls eat the same as humans, like at the same rate, or are they at a different rate? Uh, right now, yes. Uh, we, we actually, um, in the alpha, we tested uh, chopped fish being their uh -huh. only uh, food income. And uh, the drifters actually have to prepare it for them. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> however, that was very confusing uh, at the time being, as we we did not have any buildings that that correctly uh -huh. did that in UX. Or, or, uh, so right now that's gone, and they just eat anything. They eat canned food. So yeah. They eat canned food. Hey, that's great. And just for you, Asharara, I'm going to build something that you probably would be horrified at. I'm going to build Stefan a bed in a very special location. We're going to put him right over here to have his own special bed to lie on. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh, Lama Brian says correction, canned food is the only thing they don't eat. 
<laughs> Shara Ross says for oh. cooking later. No, we're not cooking Stefan. We love him. He gets his own bed. And he gets his own llama to cuddle. I want to see him go to sleep, actually. I'm really curious about how he sleeps on this bed. Whether he, like, nests like a proper seagull or whether he, like, like plops on his side like a human. That would be so funny. <laughs> Alright, let's get somebody going to this shack town uh, and get that those research points here. Build him a warm bed in the ever- No, Mezzy, no! He's our, he's our special seagull. Ooh, ooh, ooh. States, building states. Hello. Nice. This is so good. Nice. The hammer was actually one of the first tools I added. It's, uh -huh. a, it's, a, it's a toaster, if you look up. It's a toaster? I noticed it was really strange looking. I was like, why are those those black lines on the top? And I'm like, ah, it's probably just fancy. <gasps> there he is. There's our birdie birdie. Get tired, birdie, so we can see you sleep. Go on. All right, I'm going to keep monitoring Stephen over here. <laughs> hey, Cro-Max! We love him as well. Perfectly grilled on a bed of seaweed. No! No, no nom nom seagull legs. No! <laughs> Chat, you're getting too wild. We cannot kill our newest member of our family here. He's nice. He hauls stuff for us. Just one item at a time, but it's fine. It, it's fine, really. <laughs> it's really fine. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, do, do we have enough materials to make the sound later? Oh no. Do we? I will we look. 47. We need. We'll, we'll have enough research points, I think, uh, for the thing. We need 20 screws and 6 pipes. I don't know. Because pipes is that's going to be 12 metal plus uh, 10 metal. So yeah, we have 22. We have enough. Yeah. I'll start working nice. on those screws, actually. Um, I want to make... Oh, I was going to make a storage unit here, but I don't think I have enough plastic. We really need this plastic. Okay, let's find out where the plastic is. Let's see. That's wood plastic. This is plastic wood. We're going to just... Hmm. I'll turn off wood for now. And then just have them get plastic for stuff. Wait, wait. Noob mm -hmm. dupe says... You need the nets. Do we need the nets for the sound later? I don't. I don't think we do. Do we? No. It needs plastic screws and pipes. All right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So it should be fine. It should be good. In fact, I might put the desalinator here. I think it's a big building, so maybe I'll put an extra storage elsewhere. Um, we need more plastic. Help, workers! We need plastic. Almost. Let's go. Sorry. Almost. Uh, you can almost see the 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 the. Too much time I added to the building states of that building. <laughs> oh yes. Okay, we're gonna see this. Does it? Will it fit here? Do you think on this uh, edge where I'm, where you're gonna see shortly because of lag, <laughs> video delay, <laughs> this area, kind of across near the uh, distiller. Yes. Okay. Hey Indexy, how are you doing? Okay, it will fit there. Good, good, good. That is also, excellent. Um, hmm? Hello, noob de doop He's been a he's been a very active alpha tester, helping us. Ah. With oh, the, that's the awesome! Shout out to him. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. That's really cool. All right, should I? Do I have enough? I might have enough space for these screws already. You know what? We are gonna have enough space. Okay, so let's get those pipes made and the screws made. Can we unlock this thing yet? Oh, we can unlock it. We have 16 points. Yay. Okay, so this is something that... I don't know if it's, this is good or not. I don't know. Every time I open up another thing, I always have the construction menu on the top of it. And I don't know if it's because I forget to close it or something. But anytime I, I pull up a window, it's like in my way. I wonder if... Like, could that be underneath the, the newest thing that gets pulled up? Or... I don't know. Um, it's just something I've noticed all the time. We can't auto-close it, as some people want to have it open to see like what buildings you already have when uh -huh. they're researching. Um, okay. And putting it behind it would um, also have that issue. Uh, okay. We can look at making it easier to just close it when it opens. Okay. And Hex is ask asking for a build menu hotkey. Is that in the game? Might be. It's 
Is that not there? Could it might be. be. Maybe. Let's um, see. Boy radius, pause speed, very fast speed, survival guide, show markers. Oh, play swimming boy. Oh, you have boy hotkeys. Nice. Okay, so there's research panel, map, inventory, drifter panel, producer plan panel. I don't think there's All right. a construction panel. You know, it's so that funny because like you have so many hotkeys already in there. <laughs> Lots of games don't have hotkeys, so it's kind of cool that they're already there. So, um, Oh, yeah, nice we, pepper boy. We pepper play boy. the game ourselves a lot because mm -hmm. we have to test it. So yeah. we... we, we we cannot play without hotkeys. <laughs> <laughs> I love hotkeys, yes. They are Seems big. like we never had the need for a building hotkey though, so that's that's kind of odd. It like slipped to the crack. Mm. Sorry, through the crack. Yeah, we want to see your kitten pics, Pepper Ball. Put them in, uh, in Discord under the cuteness uh, category. They'll be very welcome. Ooh, are we posting kittens? I have yes. two very nice... <gasps> You have two cats? I have uh, two Sphinx kittens, so uh, if ev everyone likes hairless cats, I can post them. Yeah, everybody likes yeah. all the cats. All the cats are welcome. Well, I mean, all the animals are welcome. We love animals in, in my Discord. So yeah, please do. We'd love to see them. I, uh, I brought them to the office recently, so that was, uh -huh. that was fun. Oh, wow. Nice. Yes, Dan. Yes. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Naked cats. <laughs> oh dear. Oh yeah. So Aww. Pitson, who is um, yeah, he's new. He, he, I think he just he he. Your internship started just after that. You want? Oh no! You're gonna have to bring them again. I think. I think I think Pete. They they need some extra loving. You know, because Pitson is is looking looking to love them. I think. Oh no, the doggy was brought? Oh, oh yeah, Peter, you missed the, the puppy too. Oh man, you missed a lot of things. <laughs> miss a lot of things. <laughs> okay, we just need somebody to work at this place. Okay, scrap some... We are getting some food coming in, which is great. Feeling like I, sh I should pause the wood gathering, whatever that's happening. This is wood, that's zero, and then we have plastic. Just one person is getting plastic, that's okay. But I really need them to work on stuff. What are they getting from here? We're getting, oh, lots of wood and firewood. And lots of research points. That's pretty good. Um, a fun little story, actually. Um, we we met Pete's on, on the Pajama Lama. Uh, I'm sorry, the Foots on Discord, actually, uh -huh. at first. Um, and then we played a little of... Um, Civilization games together, and eventually he uh, applied for an internship. So, wow, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's uh, it's been nice. Okay, I'm gonna check the. Let's see, we need to check how many pipes we need. Water maker, yay! Okay, so we need six pipes. That's one, two, three, four. Oh, five. And one more. Okay, good, good. Oh no, noob dee doob was saying, you played Civ together without me? <laughs> oh my god. Did you play? You... No, no, noob dee doob. Give me, oh. give me a. Huh? Oh, no, Sorry. I, I was asking. Or yeah. you? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's get a game going. <laughs> give me a peek. Give me a PM. I have I have a a nice little Civ Discord going for some. Uh, oh, nice! Well, competi competitive competitive uh, Civ games, maybe. Huh. I, I, I don't know. That's cool. Yeah, and, and uh, my muffin is asking if they can wiggle their way into Pajama Llama Two by playing Civ. <laughs> so funny. You never can tell. Okay, so we have. May need one thing of screws. Let's get one more box because it makes two everyone there. Okay. Oh, this is great. Oh, the food is going up. Hooray! And water is going down. We may have a crisis unless we build a desalinator, which is coming soon. Yes. One more. One more thingy to make here. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Alright, do we have any more fish? Yes. Okay, it's like the whole world revolves around fish in this place here. It's quite funny. Right, hopefully they deliver these screws here. Get stuff going. So we need that fairly fast. I don't want to build another distiller, that's for sure. Okay, what else do we have? Some more research points. We could actually get the fish kebab grill. But I feel like it's less value than getting the food truck. We could get the houses, though. That might be fun. Hmm. Yeah, if you want to see the different, uh, the different yeah. houses. And yeah, maybe we, we should have get to build milk for them. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, we have enough uh, metal, which is really nice. I haven't seen Steven uh, s uh, sit on his bed yet. So curious. Okay, what do we got um, going on? Oh no, I forgot to close all the storages <laughs> against the stuff. Okay, okay. Sadness is here, but it's fine. We'll fix it. We will fix all the things. Uh, no screws and things, please. Oh dear. No, no. Uh huh. Oh, this was the storage I built for the things that shouldn't be here. Nice. <laughs> okay, we'll just let everything be there. It'll be fine. Let's see. Maj Muffin, if, um, if you have to do an internship through school, you can always send us an email. Um, oh, I think we might have got it delivered. <gasps> Yay, desalinator. Oh, it's a tiny building. Wow, I expected it to be huge. Interesting. All right. Let's see. And I also want to build some houses. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Let's have multiple of these. It's actually uh, the first large building we ever added. And now it's it's not that big anymore. So huh. it's, it's actually funny. Did, you gave that remark and I was like, huh, really? But yeah, yeah. I, I guess. Oh, it, well, I mean, even oh. like the scrapsmith is like wider. I guess it's maybe the same number of, I don't know, squares or something. But it just seems like it's, oh, it's not that big. But maybe it's tall. It could be tall. And I'm not seeing that yet. Because it's not constructed yet. <laughs> it is It is very tall. Um, houses can have more people in there. So they are better beds, yeah. Um, I hope you don't get the same random generated ones. Uh, but if That's you build okay, three, we're guess, building three. Yeah, yeah, and build. if we need to build more, we can't. We, we could tear some down because we don't have enough metal scrap. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Somebody's asked. Oh, Noob -de Doob is asking the landmarks. Will they only? Will they? One. Okay. Will they be able to house drifters to do more time-wasting tasks like farming foods, for example, potatoes, or will that be a different kind of mechanic? We're definitely expanding the landmark mechanics. Like we really, really want to um, do more with what we made. Um, right now, we, we kept it simple and did one thing per landmark. Um, but that's changing in the near future, actually. So, yeah. That almost sounds like a thing of, like, staying in an area for a while. Like, if you're going to farm potatoes, like, plant the seeds and watch it grow and tend it and stuff. That seems like it's less of a um, move from point to point and more of a, like, hey, let's hang out here for six months or something. And, we definitely uh, want players to stay uh, in tiles longer than um, games like FDL, I guess, mm -hmm. or uh, Void Bastards even. Um, but um, we're still messing around with how long we actually want that, as the game still needs to progress. Um, Pepperboy is asking, can you assign specific survivors to specific beds and houses? Um, not yet. They automatically do it right now. Yeah, I was able to get uh, Steven in this bed because he was, we had uh, beds for all the colonists and then we just built a brand new one when he arrived. So that's how I know he's in there. <laughs> oh, oh here we go. Building. Yep, I'm looking at it. It's looking good. Oh, and they're building over here too, almost. I think if you pause in the next building state, you can see some like water bottles laying around from the construction work. Let's see. Can we see them? Oh, oh, okay. Camera, thank you. That was not desired. <laughs> uh, 
There we go. No, I don't see... I see a giant water bottle. The big one at the bottom. Is that the one you're talking about? No, 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 no. The Titan. Maybe, maybe, maybe in the next day. Could be next. Oh, dear. Okay. Let's go back. The uh, By the way, everyone, I'm using the experimental camera, and it's, um, it's a bit fiddly <laughs> at the moment. Let's see that next state. This is... Oh, there it is. There's the... Oh, there they are. I see at the top. That's really cool. Let's zoom in here. Very close. They're re That's nice. There's like a crate of stuff. Little bits of wood hanging out and the bottles on top. That's so cool. I love little details like that because I used to be a woodworker um, before I started doing content creation. So like... Mm. Those, it's really natural to see, oh yeah, yeah, they just sort of chuck this stuff on the side and things like that. You can see some rope as well, and that's going to be used in like the next state and stuff. Yeah, um, oh that's right, yeah, I did I, notice I, those spools of rope. That's, yeah, that's really neat. I overdid it a bit, but uh, <laughs> that was fun. That, that, there's that was more a lot water of fun over there. Oh, this is great. Oh, I don't think there's such a thing as overdoing it. I, I think it's nice. Look at this, somebody's bicycle is at the bottom. Like, hey, I just biked to work today. Oh no, that's part of the generation. Hey, yes. all right, looks fancy. And it drives this little fan at the bottom here. Okay. They actually, oh, uh, somebody's working they on use their, uh, They use the bike to get the salt water into the, the buoy. Ah, I and... see. Oh yes, there's like a pipe that's going up here and a steam pipe that's going out and going to fill this uh, little um container on the left all right yeah, you can if you i think it's one of the animations i work the most on so wow um, oh this is gonna be a great. lot of fun to make and so um so this takes 23 seconds to convert four firewood into four water and this is 30 seconds for two firewood into one water i think we're gonna pause the distiller for a while and uh, get this one going instead so again, infinite water here, and it's turned on. Oh, look at this! Oh, wow, I love I love how the whole machine sort of jiggles about as it's producing water. That's quite hilarious. And the guy's like, oh, I'm chill. I'm just like riding this bike. It's fine. It's good. It's good. And the water's just gushing out. Oh, that's great. I like it. And you can see the steam, too. No, that's I guess that's smoke from the fire on the bottom. Oh, wow, look at this! You can see the bottles! Hey, the bottle's actually stuck up here. That's neat. <laughs> Kaylin is asking, is this game Frostpunk after the thaw? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. Uh, we have another question. How, how expansive is the tech tree going to be? Oh, uh, we have oh, a lot of plans with it. Um, way more expensive than it is right now, that's for sure. Um, it'll be in iterations, like we'll, uh, we'll upgrade it, um, slowly and steadily, uh, steadily in patches, as well as like the, the research point system right now, it, it's also still very basic. We really want them to discover like old books of the old world and see how Ooh. they use the techniques there and then start using that for their own constructions. Um, but right now it's, it's, yeah, it's the basic imp implementation. So expect it to be expanded. Oh, that's cool. I loved how I, I got there a little bit too late, but like in the second phase of construction, you could see like beds inside the houses. That's so yeah. neat. Mm. It's 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 but, like detail that people don't usually put in. It's like, oh no, house structure, there's a nothing in there. It's fine. Can you actually go inside the houses with this camera? Okay. Yeah, you uh, can. Yes, but they're invisible. Can, but there's the, ba the beds have disappeared. The... Oh dear. Yes. Uh, it's for <laughs> Yeah, performance. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, so here's the bed inside. Aw, that's so nice. And there's like a welcome mat as well. Oh, that's on the outside. Okay, that's nice. But that's great. That is so nice. And it's like one of these moments that you like. Oh, there's a door on the side there. That's so cool. It's like one of these moments that like you just take the joy in the moment and then like it's very ethereal. It goes away. So you have to be there for the moment of it. That's cool. I like that. Oh, okay, there's so a building game, so the building should look good. Oh, yes. Oh, that's great. Robot seagulls, Mezzy? Where are you going for that? Uh, 
Okay. Ah, oh, no. We have three different houses and you have two of the same. Ah, it's fine. Uh, it's, I, it's okay. We got two. That's nice. And they do have different this. details. These have like a little chimney and this one has more of the fin uh, or spine on the back. Oh, this one has an open window. Oh, a skylight. Oh, that's great. I'm still getting used to this camera here. Oh, that's cool. That's nice though. They look good. I like them. I wish we had enough points for the storage thing because it's 10 and we only have one. But um, I think that I would like to wrap up the stream now if that's okay with you. Um, yes, yes. Because I'm we've been that. streaming for quite a while now, th almost four hours. Um, but I have really, really enjoyed spending the time and and talking to you and figuring out, you know, what the motivation for the game was and just just all the things. It's it's been such a pleasure. Thank you so very much for for streaming with me today. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having me. I mean, it was it was enjoyable. It was nice. Uh, I'm glad you like the game. I'm, I'm I'm happy people in the chat like it as well. Yeah, it's so yeah. much fun. And everybody, if you're interested in the game, um, let me just put the link for you right here. That will get the link to Humble. It's pretty much everywhere. It's on sale right now in uh, for, for, what is it, the launch week or a couple weeks? I'm not sure how long. Um, yes. Launch week. All right. And it launched yesterday. So it's a really great game. It is in early access. There's much more content coming. But as you can see, um, watch the whole VOD if you arrived kind of at the end because um, this development team, they are really working hard on the game. And I can't wait to see what's happening in the future. Um, as always, give your suggestions to the devs, write them in Steam and in the Flotsam Discord. And um, if you want to chat about the game, go to the Discord and or come to my Discord. And um, uh, I hope you enjoy the game as much as I do. Though there will be more videos on YouTube uh, because I just I just love this game. It's so good. So, um, but for now, I think we're going to say goodbye. Thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, take care of yourselves and each other, and we'll see you next time.